He is ready. Now it's time for a short rest. Okay. We're, uh, all good. I, uh, may deliberately, uh, not YouTube-wise people, but, uh, for anyone who stumbles by here, um, may notice it'll be an emote only, but we'll see where that goes. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We shall see. But yeah, okay, we're gonna move on to the quest. Uh, it says wait uh, until two days later for something. I, I think it's for the this stuff here. But I'm not even gonna do my commissions first. If anything, I'll do them after um, the quest and all that. Expand, please. <laughs> that must have been what I uh, hit uh, last time. Anyways, let's uh, just go to the teleport waypoint and uh, see what what what, it, what comes down. What what happens? I feel like I might have missed this scene, by the way, for reference. If this is not how Act Two usually starts, then I somehow fucked it up. I but I'm unsure because I'm just gonna go in. Hmm. I came here several times with my father when I was little. Stopped eating here as often after growing up. I hope the food here will be to your taste. Oh, don't worry. We haven't eaten at a hotel like this in a while. <laughs> Paimon's getting excited already. <laughs> Paimon, someone could be offering you anything, and as long as it was edible, you'd probably enjoy it. Ah, in that case, I'll go order for us first. Please wait here a moment. I need to turn audio up. It seems like it, maybe a bit much. Go ahead, try whatever you like. If the food's good, I'll make a group reservation for the rest of Spina di Rosula next time. Not gonna lie, Paimon, I'm actually on. I'm actually agreeing with you for once. That looks delicious. And if it's not, well, uh, then I'll still bring everyone, albeit with only one dish per table. Yeah. <laughs> Sure have your own way of doing things. It makes sense. There's probably not a lot of places here. Oh dear God. didn't mean that you had to order even more food. She wants to, but still. <laughs> Appearances will get caught soon now that this has all happened? Well, we've certainly taken a big step forward, but I feel that's about it. We know that yeah. there's an organization that means to dissolve these young women, but we still don't know what they are really after. If it hadn't happened right in front of us, Kaimon wouldn't have ever believed that a person could be dissolved like that. <laughs> right? Yet it was because this was such a preposterous notion that the investigation could never really move forward before. Ugh. If only that guy could have finished speaking! We were so close to hearing who was behind it. That's why they had to take him out. It just had to be In that such way. such investigations, even the smallest step can seem like a yawning chasm if the trail of clues is cut off. To be honest... I don't have high hopes for any follow-up that the authorities might conduct. It's not that I don't have faith in their ability. It's just that a different perspective is required in some matters. It's easy to guard against and deceive a single, narrow perspective. A shift in thinking is required at such times in order to produce a breakthrough. Which is exactly why the Spina di Rosula exists. 
Those highfalutin folk are not all-knowing. That's why we exist. To seep into the cracks where filth falls through. Where their watch fails them. That's the kind of problems we solve. Hmm. Seems Paimon thought things were simpler than they actually are. <sighs> yeah. It's alright. Well, <laughs> this was supposed to be a farewell meal. So I doubt you have further interest in this business, right? We should, though. I mean, we've helped out with against our will sometimes, but we've helped everyone else out. Why would this be a different case? It seems really tightly knit with something big happening, which does mean, it. if anything, if it doesn't get solved, like, let's say Farina does really start picking up on that, she can use that as the reason why she doesn't want to speak with us, like, you know, have an audience with her. Other than other things she can use, but you know what I mean? Let's talk about something else. Like, uh, what are your future plans? Yeah, see, because we are first mentioning that we wanted to actually, like, speak directly to the Hydro Archon. That's true. We didn't have a chance to speak to her after the trial ended. It didn't really seem like the right time or place to do it anyway. Hmm. I see. So, your primary objective, which has been foiled so far, was to have a chat with the Hydro Archon. I've heard that there's a long line of people waiting to meet Lady mm -hmm. Farina. I suspect you'll be waiting for quite a while, considering that you missed your chance today. Yeah, we've heard that she's super popular here in Fontaine, and that it'll be tough getting any of her time. Hmm. Well, would you consider some more, uh, <laughs> ways? Perhaps even methods of, uh, let's say... Questionable legality? I mean, why not? We're desperate, right? So yeah, no, I'm, I'm all here for it, Navia. Guess that's been a de Rosula's box for you. Chock full of sketchy ideas. Well, what did you have in mind? Well, one way would be to infiltrate a performance troupe at the Opera House, only to abandon your act at the play's climax and ask to speak to her after the performance. I'm sure Lady Farina would be eager to see the ending, and would agree in order to finish watching the play. Don't you think? Oh, true, but she might also get angry that we interrupted. Is there a law about interrupting? Uh, could you suggest something a little more practical? This plan seems pretty hard <laughs> to pull off. We'd have to go learn how to act, and acting's really hard. <sighs> Alright, here's another. Find a way to conceal yourselves under her bed. Then, wake her wait, up in the wait, day wait. and demand answers. Don't let her go back to sleep until she answers all your questions. That is literally illegal. That's not questionable. That is straight up illegal. Also, I was noticing the, like, robotic chef in the background. That was really distracting. But no, no, Navia, what you're suggesting is breaking and entering and then, like, fucking stalking. And, and, no, 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 no. I can personally testify that this one works. When I'm sleepy, I'll do anything as long as I can finally get some sleep. Navia... There are some people, if we wake them up and they're sleepy and they just want sleep, they'll beat us up. Like. <laughs> uh, that might work, but that's not really the problem. The problem is we don't want to get ourselves arrested. Yeah, that. Ah, valid point. I overlooked that part. <laughs> I was just thinking about leveraging a person's desire for sleep. How can you overlook getting arrested? <laughs> Alright, alright, no more joking around. Huh, perhaps you could... Oh, I don't know. Cut the line when she's on a break. You did defeat her in court, clearing citizens of hers from false accusations. Mm -hmm. False accusations she had nearly upheld personally. I imagine that she feels quite ashamed about the whole thing. Without a doubt. You mean, that if we catch her while she's on a break, she might be too embarrassed to refuse? Oh, that does make some sense. Oh, dear God, I'm sorry. I see a little kitten trying to break into my room. <laughs> Why don't we give it a try after oh, the pie. Trial? You know, strike while the iron is hot and all. Before she, uh, gets too much confidence to pretend that huh? never happened again. Paimon, did you drink my Fanta? Um. Uh, was this your drink? Oh, shit, was it actually you this time? Oh Would dear. You like to order another? 
We didn't order Paimon a drink? No, it's fine. We're just about done <laughs> here. Alright! Honestly, Paimon wouldn't recommend vodka anyway. It tastes kind of salty and icky. Um... What drink would be salty and icky? In the travelers agreeing. Wait. Is that so? Hmm. Huh. Well, in that case, we'll have to blacklist the Fanta here then. What does the what does Fanta generally taste like? If we're all finished eating, then I'll go pay. <laughs> Not my brain thinking it was poison. <laughs> I'm out here thinking foul play is about to occur. How about walking? Normal? What's wrong with being me, Paimon? Okay. As for expenses this month, oh dear. Left. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Nothing. It was just a meal, you know? Nothing the Spina di Rosula can't cover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's get ready to try to meet the Hydro Archon again. Bye, Navia! <sighs> so this is goodbye, huh? Well, if you do encounter any other trouble in Fontaine, you're always welcome to contact the Spina di Rosula. I'll give your requests the highest priority. Uh, in any case, I wish you smooth sailing. I'll see you again, partner. We'll probably be seeing you soon. See ya! Okay. A light rain falls without reason. Okay. Oh, maybe I didn't miss this. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not even gonna speak into existence what I've heard. From other people about how this goes. But let, let's see. Hold on. There we go. That was bugging me. Get rid of it. There aren't many people around anymore. Looks like that boat we took to Araneus might have been the last one. Yeah, given the time. Oh, the voice! And it's the saying the same thing! Hmm. Looks like we're back here again. Huh? Traveler? Are you hearing voices again? Ugh. That's kind of spooky. Are you sure we don't want to come back in the morning? Vashe? Vashe? Oh, what? Hey, I'm trying to discern tone. Why are you still walking towards it? Mm-hmm. Things are getting a little blurry. Huh? Hang on. Paimon can kind of hear a voice. It's calling for Vashe, right? Oh, yeah, no, she hears it. Hey, oh, no, we're in a trance or something. Come on, wake up! Oh, what happened? Another Oceanid. Type creature, I don't know. Bache, are you my dear Bache? Oh, okay. No, wait. You seem to be someone else. Do you know Bache? You know where my love is. I'm. Wait. Who am I? I'm very sorry. I fear I do not know. My memories feel like they have been washed away like a flood. So many fragments dissolved amidst the tide, never to be recovered. That almost sounds like the prophecy, in a sense, and like, with the phrasing, like, put it with the phrasing of, uh, Lynette. How much have I lost? How many things that I once held dear while on land have I since forgotten? Yes, that is what I was once. But now, I am but the consciousness of one who has lost their form. I do not know how I came to be like this either. 
I only vaguely remember being covered in light blue water. And it all grew dim. Were you- wait, wait, yeah, are, were you someone dissolved? I also remember going to many places. I loved adventure, loved exploring places of peril. No matter where I went, Vache would go with me. I knew how dearly he loved me. And I also loved him equally as much. But now, we can no longer go back. The pain of such parting. I never knew how heavy it could be. No. Our reunion no longer has any meaning. There is no way for us to create any new memories. Really? The thought of me gives him no succor. So let it lie forgotten beneath the waters. If you meet Vashe, tell him not to look for me. Tell him to move on. That is the only thing I still remember. Perhaps that is so. As I was submerged in the waters, losing consciousness, I saw Vashe. Oh, this sounds so surface. fucked. His eyes were filled with such sorrow, such longing. If only I could have comforted him, told him that I did not suffer. Indeed, I had felt a great warmth. Is that what you call it? Dissolving. Release. If anything, I consider it a form of release. It was a state of neither fear nor frenzy, with only an endless peace, like the water still surface. I could also liken it to being a thirsty person who drinks water for the first time and only then sees how they have lived for so long in a world of endless want and anxiety. Some measures of consciousness still remain. I think I hear your companion. It's time for you to go, I think. How much time has passed? Farewell, then. I am glad that you were able to sense my presence. Remember... If you see Vache, tell him not to seek me out any longer. So they're gone, like, permanently? Is that what's being said through that, though? Oh, shit, we were out- Oh, wait, 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 what? The fuck happened here? What happened? What the- Oh shit, we're God. still not good. It's a whole army of Gardamex. Oh! Why? Clorand? Why are you here? Are you here to help? Yeah, she's helping, but that's what happened. Right? You're here to help? We're not fighting, right? Holy fuck! Nice teamwork. that I should thank you for lending us your sword there Clorand but before I do so could you explain how you managed to show up here that is true I followed, followed you okay it seemed to me that danger has followed you more closely as of late hmm 
I believe that following someone without their knowledge is actually called stalking. Is it not? is, but in this case it helped out, but it's true. Why why were you? Mr. Callus's last wish was for me to ensure your safety. Oh. And I will not betray his trust. Okay. He would do the same were he alive today. Do not speak of my father. Sorry, demoiselle. I was not strong enough. Thank you for your aid, Miss Coran, but do keep an eye out for your manner of speech. I believe we all wish to avoid unnecessary emotional harm. Sorry, I did not consider your feelings. No, in that case, you were genuinely just trying to give a response, but yeah. Whatever. What else do you know? How did you come to the conclusion that I'd be in grave danger? I doubt I know much more than you. But I believe that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances is very powerful. Your performance tonight will almost certainly attract their attention. I don't know why I didn't think about that, but that's true. Especially if their their informant or anyone at any time heard about what you were looking into. Huh. I'm sure they've known about me. To be honest, I'm shocked it's taken them this long to act against me. And what about these Gardamax? I thought only those associated with the Maison Guardianage could control them. None of these mecha have serial numbers. I was sure to check a moment ago. They are not the ones used by the authorities to enforce the law. Were they taken, or were they manufactured outside of the source, then? I can only conclude that some powerful mm -hmm. or wealthy party must have obtained them via illegal means, deploying them as a private force of sorts. What? Your point being that they're out of Spina di Rosula's league, then? Yes. Be careful, and do not act rashly. I will continue investigating, no matter what. We will bring the truth to light. That's my father's true last wish. <sighs> Regardless, thank you for your help today, Clarand. But if you get any ideas, tell me first. I don't much appreciate being followed. Yeah, even if it helped out, it is not pleasant to know you're being kind of stalked. I do not think that they'll strike again anytime soon. So I shall stop following you. Good day, all. Okay. Right. I suppose that's the best news we've gotten today. <laughs> Damn. Demoiselle, I believe that Miss Clorand was being sincere with you. If we tried, we could attempt to thaw relations a little. Things might be a little too emotional, like emotionally charged at the moment, so maybe not now. I know, I just... Mm -hmm. She's... Ugh. Yeah, what happened? Oh, Champion duelist named Clorant who came out to save us too. We got lucky there. Paimon probably couldn't have fought them off otherwise. <laughs> so you're a fighter now, Paimon? Oh, <laughs> come now. Forget all that polite talk. That wasn't really a farewell meal we had back there. Not for me, anyway. In truth, I hope that every meal we have together shall be a victory feast. <laughs> As such, we're still partners. There's no need to thank me. It will take 50 years for me to match Demoiselle's magnanimity. If it were me, I would have joined the Spina di Rosula on account of her goodwill long ago. <laughs> All right, you two. <laughs> That's enough. Actually, Navia, how did you know that we were in danger? You sure did show up in the nick of time. Well, to be honest, you're the one who tipped us off, Pine. Was it? Was I right? Wait. Huh? Was it was it about the Fanta? Yes. All thanks to you grabbing my drink by mistake. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> I shouldn't be happy about that. Uh, how did that help? After we parted ways, I was on the way back to one of our bases when I suddenly thought of mm -hmm. what you said. That the Fanta tasted kind of kind of salty, salty and, icky. and icky. Fanta only comes in sweet flavors. So how could it have tasted salty? The color of the drink, if I recall, had also been a bit off. 
Wait, so someone there. Or the only people who could have touched it were people on the inside, right? Unless, you know, we have another thief situation who fucking just came by and spiked it. So the Fanta had been spiked with water from the primordial sea? Holy shit. Yeah, that could be it. So if you hadn't drunk that Oh me... fuck, that would have been bad. Paimon, please. You know what? If my shit acts well, I mean it wouldn't affect Traveler, but if well it, it does, but not the same way. Just just take people's drinks accidentally. It, it I I give you permission. Mina de Rosula is preparing the grandest of awards for you as we speak for saving the boss. Yeah, no, luckily we're not from Fontaine. It might have bugged us a little, like, we seemed groggy, but that could have been from, you know, the trance we were in with them. Or maybe that's what let us speak with that, uh, person. I sent people to Hotel de Boer to investigate, but whoever did this left no trace at all. That's when I figured out that you might be in danger, and hurried here as quickly as I could. But, why would they go after us, too? All we did was defend Linny and Court and help clear his name! Ugh, now we're caught up in this mess too, aren't we? Low-key, I don't even- like, it doesn't even have to be because we defended Linny and Court necessarily. I mean, it does, because that was supposed to be the person that get- it all gets pinned on. But also, we're just a big name known for going around and ending up, like, solving and throwing big people out. So that could have just got us in trouble right off the bat. Well. You did foil a plan that they were probably pretty proud of. <laughs> that, yeah. They almost got their name in the process. Yeah. Speaking of which, did anything strange happen when you drank the primordial seawater? Yes. Well, it can't be a coincidence that the traveler fainted just now. He said that he heard that voice calling for Vashe again. Oh, and this time Paimon heard it too. But it was real faint. Does this situation have to do with the primordial seawater then? Yeah, what if it has something to do with that? But Because Lynette's theory on it was that it's high sensitivity to the hydro element. But I'm curious if that's not quite the case. Does that mean the primordial seawater raises someone's sensitivity to hydro when it's used on people who are not from Fontaine? That doesn't sound like too much of a bad thing, to be honest. New intel? While you were out cold? Uh, well, let's hear it, shall we? Yes. Oh, that is important. What happened? Vache. That name doesn't ring a bell. I suppose he hasn't stepped forward as a witness in court lately. We don't know how long ago this person dissolved. What if they were one of the first ones, which would be about 20 years ago from what I remember? Like, could that be part of the case? Since he saw that young woman dissolve, he was at least at the crime scene. Yes. But he never gave testimony or any information regarding people dissolving in the primordial seawater. Could he have been... threatened? Yes, thank you. This is very important information indeed. We will continue to investigate. Why even ask the second one? We, 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 we know we're here, okay? Oh, you mean you'll help us investigate? We were dragged into it. You know, I, I think it's a sign. Well, Be careful, Paimon will still try sucking even more money out of your bank account. Don't let her do it. Tell her to pay for her own meals. And besides, we're in this now whether we like it or not. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to let those people who targeted us get off the hook so easily, are you, Traveler? Demoiselle, do try not to look quite so pleased. <laughs> you are the face of Spina di Rosula. Hey, if she's happy, let her look happy. <laughs> you talk too much. <laughs> Well, in that case, let's head back to one of our bases, shall we? I'll arrange accommodations for you. We also have some plans to go over, and hopefully we can deepen our bonds as partners. But we'll take that one step at a time, I guess. Smart, smart. Don't worry, you two. With us around, our base is definitely secure. I am not even going to try pronouncing any of that shit. By the way... Um, I did take French in, in high school, but I also immediately afterwards took Spanish, so I feel like the one more freak, like, brought up in my memory would be Spanish. 
Though I like them both. I meant nothing against uh, French when I went to Spanish. I, I just really wanted my te uh, the teacher I had again, but she was only doing Spanish. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, I'm not making it there without traveling this way. But no, we, we run into trouble and get sucked in, so why not? We need to help you guys out? Sure, we should have did that in the first place. But Paimon's on a roll. She's really, like, she wasn't the one who ate the extra macarons. And then she also saved... Right Our friend here from but dissolving. Sure we weren't followed first. Or getting spiked. Because remember, I, before the dude dissolved, he did say that it, it's, almost, it's almost like a drug, right? If it's very diluted, it, it's, it gives you more of like a high, I think is kind of how he was d describing it. So I think that could have been the case as well. But you never know. I could be wrong. I've been keeping watch, Demoiselle. I haven't spotted anyone suspicious thus far. Huh. Very good. But let's not let our guard down for now. Yeah. You you never know who's actually watching. I shall find rooms for our respected guests. Thank you, Malus. Now, let's continue, traveler. Oh, all the way down here. Okay. Let's just go down. Oh, I forgot how much shit's in the way. Oh god. Kazuha, that would have been bad. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let me very briefly put a support on my team. Yeah, I'm gonna put Chi Chi. There was a teleporter down here. I didn't have to travel all this long, I'm sorry. So this was their base this whole time? Oh, I see it. So, I see uh, it. This is your base? It's not quite what Paimon imagined. Well, Paimon, sometimes don't let your expectations skyrocket, okay? Your accommodations have been arranged. Under the present circumstances, I can confidently say it's the best we have. Traveler, you too? Come on, don't let Paimon contaminate you. <laughs> well. Our funds have been a little tight lately. It's okay, it's okay. Ignore them, Navia. Thank you, it means a lot. After all, we don't allow illegal or unethical profiteering. Mm -hmm. In fact, our funds often come from citizenry who support us. Seems like it's tough times for everyone. But if you have the support of the people, that does sound like it's worth it. <sighs> to be honest... Our financial situation was a lot better back when my father was in charge a few years ago. <sighs> I'm afraid I'm not quite his equal. Your father... He was the previous boss of Spina oh. di Rosura, mm. right? How did he... Uh, Demoiselle, if you'll allow me to explain. Uh, no. I I'll explain it myself. I suppose I couldn't run from this topic forever. And as partners... This is something I hope they can understand. My father's name is Callus. Yes, the same one they call Callus the Unfaithful in the streets. What? Three years ago, he was accused of murdering his own friend. But he chose a duel to defend his honor instead of standing trial. He died in the duelist's ring. Oh, that's messed up. Like, the fact that you could fucking die trying to defend, like, argue that you were innocent. Like, from witnessing that trial with Linny, 
it is so hard if the other side like just seems to know everything and have like convincing enough that like, that thing's gonna say that they're guilty every time like let's I don't want to assume anything, you know? Let's say maybe the father did kill the friend for whatever reason. I, I feel like maybe in this case, like, let's say he didn't. He knew he had a fight because otherwise something would be pinned against him. But why? What? Oh, no. But I do not believe my father mm -hmm. was a murderer. I'm sure he was set up. He, like, again, let's say he did get pushed to murder. I, I wanna- I, I- I believe there's more to it than just it was murder. Like, in cold blood. But no. Like, and if she doesn't think her father did it, and like, they- they got- they get most of their money from crowdfunding? I don't- I don't know. Time, I believe that if he only stood trial and was duly investigated, something amiss would crop up and prove his innocence. But, strangely, he not only requested the duel himself, Rumor has it that even after being seriously injured to the point where he could be deemed as having lost the duel, he refused to surrender, determined to die in the arena. <laughs> Three years later, I still don't understand why he did that. I don't know. From what we can tell, too, though, one of the people who was accomplices with Cowell, he, he was dressed up as one of the officers, right? Like, is there a possibility that, like, people even in areas like the, you know, police and stuff are corrupt? How could he protect his honor if he's dead? <laughs> if anything, he gave up his chance to defend himself. That is, no, it is definitely odd. Something's up there. The closest piece of info I have is that my father had been investigating the serial disappearances case at the time of his death. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. My, my, my... No, I, I I think no, something was fucked there. No, no, something had to be no, something fucked up was going on there. Ah, so that's why you're so determined to get to the bottom of that case. That's right. I've also tried to investigate the murder my father was implicated in, but I haven't found a single new clue in my countless reviews of the investigation records. However, I believe that if the murder case is related to those behind the disappearances, they must know something. They, they, they would have to. I must know what really happened. Was my father coerced? Framed? Even if he really did kill his friend, mm -hmm. I must get to the truth. Ugh. If only he'd been more open with me when he was still alive. He even hid the fact that my mother died due to complications when giving birth to me. Oh, that sounds like someone who just didn't want you to feel guilty. And now... Here I am, investigating his death. <laughs> you really are a handful, aren't you, Papa? Hmm. Now there's a connection. Please, if there is anything I can do, anything at all. I also will never believe that Master Callus murdered anyone. There are none whom I respect more than the two of you, Demoiselle. Master Callus did so much good in life, yet all it took was one murder case for him to be dubbed Callus the Unfaithful. And why did that came up so... Even mm. our supporters decreased greatly due to that incident, hence our uh, strained finances at present. Wait, if Callus was such a good man, wouldn't people at least be a little suspicious when he was a That's kid? what you would think, but these people... <laughs> I don't want to be rude. Why are the people of Fontaine making me feel so, like, rude? They, we've seen them in trial, Paimon. In, in, if certain information gets out there and it's entertaining enough, they will just go with it. To them, that would be like, what, a plot twist? It's like, oh, but he was so, so, you know, faithful in stuff. Like, it, I bet if people put it on like that, like, things uh, could happen. No. Perhaps people just run yeah. that kind of drama. It's not something exclusive to people from Fontaine, really. Everyone's like that. There are a lot of people even outside of Fontaine like that, but you have to agree that most people in Fontaine are that people, which is why I, I have an issue with Fontaine. People love watching the evil turn over a new leaf. But good they people also fall. Enjoy watching mm -hmm. good people fall into an abyss from one slip up just as much. But how could? Ugh, never mind. 
Yeah. If Callus was really falsely accused, we have to find the truth. He didn't deserve to have that happen to him. Uh, there is one other thing. Oh, that yeah. Duel was Miss Coran. Yeah, that explains the bad blood. Even if she wants... Yeah, no. Oh, her? Well, then... Is yeah. Is as good as saying that she was the one who killed him? <laughs> yeah. That's not the sort of thing that you can just let go and move on from. And if you do, it's gonna take time. So I was right in saying, no, the bad blood is probably not gonna be tied up right now. Miss Clorand has always placed great emphasis on the honorable nature of the duel. If her opponent doesn't yield, she will not stop either. She knew Master Callus beforehand and greatly respected him, Ooh, but yeah. seeing how he was resolute in the arena, there was only ever one choice she could have made. It's not that I don't understand her at all, but I... I just can't deal with this yet. No, it's understandable from the sound like it sounds it sounds like you really respected your dad and yeah. If for thinking he was falsely accused and he died to like supposedly, you know, yeah, no. Don't worry, knows how you feel. You don't have to force yourself to mm -hmm. do that. And let's say you do further down the line, it's all, it, it, it's understandable. Afterward, Ms. Coran told us that at the start of the duel, Master Callus requested that she ensure Demoiselle Navia's safety. No, that does indicate that he intended to die then. Or at least knew he was going to die then. Yes, that is our understanding as well. <sighs> oh, Papa. What madness drove you to ask the person who killed you to take care of me? There could have been something there. There could have been a threat, even. I don't... All right. Okay, now my anyway, brain's going crazy with thoughts. I wanted to share with you. Even if it did sound like I was just complaining towards the end. No, it's all good. No, 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 no. Never think... No, never think that. Uh, thanks. You two should go and rest. This was quite a day, after all. Yeah! I'm on eat. Please. Relax and get some sleep. We will ensure you rest soundly. Okay, rest in your room. Thanks for the help, bud. <laughs> I'm unslept so well. <sighs> this place feels almost too safe. Bye, Mon. I was giving you compliments for stealing a drink that was apparently spiked with poison, in a sense. Uh, A. Huh? Navia? Where did the other two go? I sent them back to Poisson. It's Spina de Rosula's place of origin, and where we have our headquarters. There's not much for them to do here at the moment. Paimon gets the feeling that you're just trying to get them off your back. That might be true. But never mind that. When did you get back? Were you waiting here the whole time? No, I just returned after going out for a while. I did some investigating yesterday regarding the name Vache. Wait, so you didn't sleep at all? That does not sound off. <laughs> How could I after having such critical new evidence appear? And she brought up some emotions, you know. Restlessness kicks it at some point. Uh, guess Paima wasn't speaking for everyone just now, huh? Unfortunately, this name seems to have been wiped from existence. It doesn't seem to have a match anywhere. Okay, yeah, no, that's odd. I suspect that those behind this have already taken steps to hinder an investigation from this angle. But that does prove that this Bache person is a key witness in the incident. Yeah, they wouldn't have gone that far. Does that mean we're too late, though? No, there is one ray of hope. One place in Fontaine that they would find almost impossible to threaten, no matter how much they wanted to. And that is the archives kept by Chief Justice Nouvellet, a place where detailed files on all the cases in recent years are kept. If the Oceanet you met 
is one of the young women who went missing recently. We should be able to find some related information there. So Nervalette maintains an archive of case files? Whew. Guess that's the hardworking Chief Justice for you. Yeah, given his position, it makes sense he would keep one. In that case, let's go talk to him, shall we? That might be difficult. Um... Yeah, based off that response, I, I think uh, it is. Aren't you coming along, Navia? No, that's not it, Paimon. There's something else about that. Uh, no, it's nothing. Let's go see the Honorable Chief Justice. No, 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 no. There's something up. I, I wish you would tell us. There's no reason to to not. The truth lost with the rain. Okay. Okay. The palais is right up ahead. Come on. Okay. I feel like you would take a lot to be able to, uh, ask for those files and such. Halt! Please state your business here. The Chief Justice is presently occupied with official matters. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Huh. This place does look pretty heavily guarded. Guess that proves that Nervalet's files are really secure. Hey, don't you recognize us? Oh, is she one of the ones who should know us? Huh? Oh, she is! You? Just to be clear, <clears throat> or no? I don't care who you are or who you might be related to. Our rules make no exceptions. I, she does look like that See, one. They've got great discipline too. Okay, was that a test? Yep, yep. No one can tell. If you're here just to crack jokes, I can point you towards the exit. Unlike some, we're busy. So please leave if you don't have a reason to be here. Uh, no, no. What I meant to say is, shouldn't you remember us from a few days ago? Okay. We were at the trial of the great magician Linny. Oh, oh yes, I remember. I read about it in the Steambird. You, you must be Linny's attorneys. It's all coming back to me now. We're here today to report and archive some information on a follow-up case. Huh, is that even a thing? Of course. Don't worry, we're here on official business. You can trust us. Well, all right then, I'll let you through. The Chief Justice is just inside. Ah, oh, thanks so much. That seemed scarily easy. I'm not gonna lie. That that seemed a little too easy. I, I guess I'm used to having to fight my way through uh, for information. Please come in. Oh, thank you. Hey. Um, sorry to barge in, Monsieur Nervalette. We only lied to get in because we didn't know any other way. Technically, we're here for, in a sense, official business. We are. But thanks for framing it like a lie. Okay, I'm so sorry. Please let me know how I may be of assistance to you. Paimon, don't push it. He may have been an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. If we can find him, we may be able to unearth some key information on the case. I'm very scared. Ah, I see. In that case, please wait here a moment while I browse through the files. I wonder, will we actually find anything? Oh, he's not- he, I, I, I've never been up close to- well, maybe I have, I just didn't notice. His eyes are pretty. <laughs> Sorry. Offbeat. He does seem very friendly. He was like that earlier, too. I just don't know if we'll actually find anything about Vache. Oh, nice, nice transition. Unfortunately. Nothing. I'm quite certain that no one by the name of Vache has been involved in any case, criminal or civil, in the past several years. There are no records of him either in the files or in my memory. Hmm. Traveler, what if it was 
really just a dream. No way. We've had many things similar to that, and they've all come to fruition. So. All right, then. Thank you so much, Monsieur Neuvillette. We'll take our leave now. Ahem. <clears throat> I don't want to think he's lying. Miss Navia, I can understand how you feel. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Your father, Callus, was a truly exceptional man. We Ooh. deeply regret okay. his mm -hmm. passing. Hmm. And what are you trying to say, Monsieur Novillette? Yeah, it's an interesting topic change. Are you trying to console me? Extend your sympathy? Or just express some tendril of regret? No. You are not trying to do any of that. I can hear it in your voice. There's no emotion behind mm -hmm. your words. You only said those things because you felt like you should. It's just like last time. After my father took his place in the duelist ring, I pushed through the guards to talk to you as a last resort. You even told me then that you thought there was something That's why she hesitated. Case, yet you still allowed the duel to go ahead. In your eyes, the value of a human life is nothing compared to those cold laws you hold so dear. Ooh, I don't... Ooh, I don't like this. If you truly regret my father's death, then why didn't you call a stop to the duel? Oh! Oh, Navia, no! Sweetie! Why didn't you give me the power to stop him from throwing his life away? Why did you just let him die, despised and hated by all? Oh fuck, stop, please. Everything was hanging on a thread at that moment. Just the tiniest effort could have changed everything. There are still so many things I never got to tell him. So many questions he still owes me answers to. If you really have no heart, then just look me in the eyes. I, Navia, will show you the true meaning of regret. Fuck, can I not? Looking you in the eyes hurt. I get that's the point, but fuck. Oh, he looked away a little bit. Yeah. I'm sorry, Miss Navia. You and my father are truly alike. You keep all kinds of things in your heart and never say a word to anyone. It's not so much that you can't feel, but that you would never express anything. There's many reasons behind that, but yeah. Oh well. In any case, everyone already knows full well the apathy of the Chief Justice. Oh, some of these hurt. My apologies hmm. for taking my emotions out on you, Monsieur Chief Justice. Let's go, Traveler and Paimon. Oh, that look. Yeah. There has to be reasoning. But, mm. Fuck, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. We're good. Nadia, are you okay? No, Paimon, it's rain- Oh! Wait! It's raining! Remember what Fremenay said? That his parents told him in the past that, like, when it rained, it was, like, the dragon's tears? I'm fine. Uh, rain. It's raining. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're pointing it out. You're right. Wasn't it still sunny when we went into the building? And there shouldn't be any active trials today. Is it because of... Because we... we is it because of what happened just now? Now that I think of it, on the day my father was convicted of murder... Rain! Was also I, I was gonna ask! I was gonna ask that! What is it? Did you think of something? Yeah, he was outside. It was uncovered and the rain could fall there. Why? Do you think the rain could have affected the crime scene? That thought has occurred to us before. We've even expanded the search area to try to account for that. But didn't find anything of value. Oh? Wait. Uh, you don't mean... So you oh, sorry, I skipped that accidentally. The true murderer could have been turned into water? And then got washed away with the rain? I mean, that that is technically also possible, but... 
Okay. Yeah. And if that's what had happened, then no one would have believed your dad, even if he explained what he saw to the authorities. I really think I found a true genius for a partner. <laughs> You're completely right. How did I not connect the dots earlier? I still think there's more to the rain, but no, that is true. What if the person who was guilty did turn into water? All right. Let's go to Poisson. With this new lead in mind, we'll get to the bottom of my father's case for sure. Yeah, we're gonna make progress for sure this time! Do you want to go with me now? Or do you want to head over by yourself later? I- I am all good. I have no reason to stop. Great. Let's go. Let's go then. Oh, and it's this place. That makes sense. <laughs> so many things are just happening. It's crazy. Because whether the rain's planned or not, that is true. It would have that effect. We've been here before, but yes. <laughs> need to be so surprised. While it may look like a ship, it's actually Spina di Rosula's headquarters. My father was the one who asked for it to be built like this. Perhaps our taste in exterior design is the only thing we occasionally had in common. A gigantic and glamorous ship embodies discovery, opportunity, ambition, and conquest. It symbolizes Spina di Rosula's bright and limitless future. <laughs> And Paimon thought you were bluffing when you said Spina di Rosula had a glorious past. Hey, Paimon. I was confused why a group with such a history would live in the sewers. Sometimes that just needs to happen. This ship for herself? She's been convinced. Well, Poisson is where Spina di Rosula began, after all. It's our main base, our home. Oh, I found a day two one of those. No, no distractions until after the qu quest. But yeah, I, so many things just have met. So many different variables. Also, why am I? I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I've never been up here. Wait, what? Where is it? Okay, I, I, I said no distractions and then here I am getting distracted. I hear it. Okay. Anyways, back to business. No more distractions. Malus, we're back. Apologies for the wait, Demoiselle, and our most important partners. You said before that you still had some business at the court. What brings you back to Poisson so quickly? Uh, about that. It's because my partner here reminded me of something really important. You see, what if my father's case had something to do with water from the primordial sea? You still remember, right, Malus? On that night, it was raining? Yes, the case was quite similar to that of Mr. Linney's. Both were what you'd call impossible murders. Yeah, do you think the mastermind could be the same person? Could you tell us a bit more about what happened before? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Many years ago, something called synth began to gain popularity in Poisson. Synth. At a glance, it was a kind of drink that could excite your mood and produce many pleasant hallucinations. It's the water! That's that's the one bit of information we got out of the dude before he was silenced. Was Was this. 
was that it could like produce many pleasant like like uh, up your mood and then pleasant hallucinations stuff like that that that's what was being brought up Wait, didn't that guy thank you Paimon He did. Considering what we know now, it's almost certain that synth is created using water from the primordial sea. If you drink synth for an extended amount of time, you'll suffer many side effects, such as losing the ability to focus or control your emotions. Ooh, sounds bad. And if you were to stop drinking it completely, you'll experience flashes of paranoia and anxiety while lacking energy to do anything. It's an extremely dangerous substance. As he oversaw Poisson, my father was compelled to put a stop to synth abuse and called for a complete ban of it. Oh, that that's Boss's a target right there. Compromising attitude incurred the synth vendor's wrath. But no matter how much they threatened or bribed him, he refused to yield. Not only that, the boss became determined to find the mastermind behind the synth operation and put an end to the problem once and for all. Yes, but the enemy was very cunning. <laughs> so he could never get anything out of the dealers. All of whom only sold the stuff and weren't privy to the rest of the operation. Recognizing that, my father decided to contact the dealers in secret and cultivate personal relationships with them. Finally, he was able to convince someone to become his informant. The man's name was Jacques. He felt greatly ashamed about his work after seeing many families destroyed by synth abuse. Oh, was he the one killed? My father hosted a banquet at his countryside oh. estate. He planned to meet up and exchange information with Jacques over some food. But then, we heard two gunshots from the courtyard. We raced to the scene and found my father, hmm. still holding a gun. And Jacques, who was already dead on the ground. Huh? So something How happened there. Happen? Mm -hmm. the no, no, time? something was going on. Sounds just like Lenny's case, doesn't it? In both cases, the culprit seemed obvious, but neither appeared to have any motive at all. Looking back on it, though, I now believe the most important clue was something we all overlooked at the time. There were pieces of clothing left at the scene. So someone got dissolved. Like, that that would have to be the case in the sense, right? Precisely. It's all thanks to you that I made the connection now. Back then, we all just thought they were some costumes that Jacques used to disguise himself at the banquet. But, considering it now, it's almost certain that they belong to a third person at the scene. With one extra person, we'll also need to reconsider why the two shots were fired. Mm-hmm. Like, were there two- like, okay. Was- was he shot twice? Like, that's what- damning shit. But if he was only shot once, then yeah, you'd need to account for that missing shot. You're right. We still don't know what happened, mm -hmm. but my intuition tells me that we're on the right track to figuring it all out. I'm finally headed towards the truth. Jacques was an empathetic man who was infinitely remorseful for his past actions. It's unlikely that he turned on boss with zero warning. Yeah, there I could be many this things, yeah. third person is probably the key to the full truth. On that note, however... Even though this will not please you, demoiselle, as you're and your father's butler, I must still offer a word of warning. Our opponent is insidious and cruel. They are extremely difficult to deal with, and Boss has already lost his life trying to bring them to justice. Even though Spina de Rosula has lost most of its former glory, Poisson has welcomed a new time of peace, and we have been allowed to live out our lives. There is no need to follow your father's path. It would be both wise and in line with Boss's wishes to step back and give up on the case. She's not going to do that. And like it or not, even, like, let's say she stops right now, the fact that they already tried taking her out means, it, unfortunately, she's in their line of sight. So unless we solve it now, she could always be in danger later on. Like, we don't know their ways. Even if she stays here, where, you know, it's arguably more peaceful and safe, things could go wrong. We don't know. If that's indeed what he wished for, then he should have told me that himself. Was I not the closest person to him? And yet, I was the one most kept in the dark. 
What was the point of him dying without sharing any of the secrets he knew? Did he manage to protect anything in the end? And here, I'm gonna argue this. Maybe he didn't tell her so she would stay out of it. But that's severely underestimating the power of someone who feels like something wrong occurred. She lost someone dear to her for what she believes and possibly really is no reason. And so she wants to be the one to rightly say fuck you to the people who made her lose something that important and dear to her while also saying fuck you to even the dear person because it's like how dare you think I would not look into this for you. Now that could be just an oversight on my part. That could just be me ch trying to project an emotion there. But you don't take that lying down. If, if something seemed fucking suspicious the whole time, I would even probably want to look into it. It's like, no, that has to be fucking wrong. Not just my emotion, but something seems wrong. And, and the more you look into it, 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 it's it's not hard to see why she would assume she was being left out. Sin is still here. Mm hmm Callus the Unfaithful is still his epithet. And Spina di Rosula is barely getting by. Mm hmm Nothing has changed. Did he think I'd just accept his meaningless death and live out my life just as meaninglessly? I've never accepted that, ever. Not since that day, and certainly not now. I want to find out the real answer for everyone's sake. For the missing girls, for the victims, and for myself. Nadia. This is indeed the best moment to act. Your partner appears to be quite reliable, and more importantly, Demoiselle, I think you're also ready to take this on. Mm -hmm. So you do know something else, Malus. <laughs> I'd believe it. <laughs> yes, I do. In fact, even before that banquet, Boss already knew of the connection between Synth and the Serial Disappearances case. But what drove all the tensions to the boiling point was the revelation that you, Demoiselle, had been selected as the next what? to disappear. What? Bitch, what? Did... Did he die as an act of, like, saving her some time, or what? What happened? Holy fuck. What? I feel you. Boss also didn't tell you that he had been diagnosed. Oh, okay, this just gets shittier and shittier. What? told him that he had no more than five years left to live. Bitch, I would have rather known that. It's fucking painful and shit, but no, either way is fucked up to lose. But what? And the serial disappearances case caused him great anxiety. Five years was nowhere near enough time to resolve this long-standing conflict. But once he passed away, all the danger would pass on to you. Knowing all of this... He decided to use one final intimidation tactic before his death. He claimed to have already gotten his hands on some key incriminating evidence for the other side, and even told some members of Spina di Rosula about the details. But as long as you remain safe, he would not share the evidence with the public. If something were to happen to you, then he and all those he told mm. would immediately expose all they knew about Synth and the disappeared victims. Right. So nobody would be able to get off scot-free. As we've seen, Boss's tactic has worked. Even though Boss has been gone for a long time, the other side has not tried to take Demoiselle's Until life. now. Until now. No. I don't believe it. He never appeared to look sick to me. That's the thing. It, it, that the you can't always see it. No father wants their daughter to see the mm -hmm. weak and haggard, especially someone as proud as Boss. To him, dying in a duel and suffering lasting dishonor as the unfaithful are still far preferable than losing face in front of his daughter. 
Yeah, it still fucking sucks to hear, though. So he chose to die in silence so that he could protect me. Yeah. I'm afraid you're not understanding this correctly, demoiselle. What boss wanted to hand to you was not a parasol, but a sword. It still hurts, but no, I get your words. If boss's spirit could hear you telling me that you want to find the answer for the sake of everyone involved, I'm sure he'd be extremely proud. Uh, that fool. <laughs> Couldn't he have just given it to me straight? Yeah, again, I get what you're saying over there, Malus, but fuck, that hurts, and I'm not even the one involved. No. He might have set up everything precisely because he never oh, thought that's... I'd be Just able stop to making her him. cry! Is that the amount of confidence he had in me? And what if I was never able to make it to where I am now? Yeah, I get what we're saying to her, but I get her emotions, too. We need to give her time. That, that... That is too- so much. Yeah. Mm hmm I suppose that's true. With the way he'd set things up, if I had wanted, I could have just lived out my life without a care in the world. But thankfully, he rarely talked to me about complex matters, and thus understood little of me as a person. In this case, he really didn't need to give me an easy way out. Huh. Malus, what was the key evidence that he shared with you? What did he actually know? If anything. It's the location where synth is produced. Essentially, it's the enemy's headquarters. When he was threatening the enemy, boss didn't share the specifics of the incriminating evidence he found. But if you want to use it against the enemy, you'll still have to take several things into consideration. Why? If we know where the place is... It's been a few years, it? hasn't it? What if they just move? You mustn't forget that we're fighting against mm -hmm. a mysterious and dangerous organization that's been in operation for decades. There's no telling what might be lying in wait at their headquarters. We also have no idea what kind of evidence we may be able to find inside, nor what people we may be able to capture. But a single visit to their headquarters would be tantamount to a formal declaration of war. The worst case would be that we leave empty-handed, but also open ourselves up to full retaliation. Then, in that case, why not work with the Fontaine Authority? They could be corrupt. We don't know. I don't know about that, Paimon. I, I might just have a distrust of authorities based off our last few dealings with authorities in these regions, but... Well, you, you know. saw one of them dissolve during Mr. Yeah. Lee's case. We have no idea Thank just you. how thoroughly they may have been infiltrated. Because there could be a few, or it could be most of them. We don't know. Huh. That's true. Seems my father really had no choice. Yeah, Navia. I, I get what you're feeling, and you have every right to be upset. You do. Like, don't let anyone tell you differently. But, yeah. But things are different now. It should be a lot easier to prove the other side's guilt, now that we've connected Synth with the disappearances case. You sound like you put a lot of thought into this, Malus. And now I'm scared for him. I am the butler, after all. I live but to serve the boss and Demoiselle's will. I've always been willing to take on any kind of risk for your sake. But considering my relative lack of ability, I've spent my time keeping secrets, performing basic investigations, and... Waiting for the right time to come. Thank you for all of that, Malus. Have you discovered anything new in the past few years? Let me think. One conclusion I came to was that the enemy must be quite familiar with Spina di Rosula, or at least have an informant planted here. When I announced orders to the organization's members on Demoiselle's behalf, I used to deliberately keep a few people in the dark and observe the reactions of the synth vendors. Smart. If the vendors didn't change their plans, then the individuals informed of our orders must be innocent. If the vendors packed up and fled, however, then someone must have given them the news. After several rounds of testing and investigative tracing, I've narrowed the suspect list down to three people. The first is Florent, Spina de Rosula's senior advisor. Senior advisor. Yikes. Huh? Florent? Yes, yeah, surprising, isn't it? 
He was one of the people Boss trusted the most, which also means that he was someone who understood Boss really well. Thanks to his position within Boss's innermost circle, he always knew our upcoming plans and could thus avoid capture this whole time. There's someone else like him too, Marcel, the head of Confrérie of Cabriere. Yeah, so the Uncle more Marcel. higher up people. Uncle, oh. It's a guild in Poisson. The boss helped it to grow to its current size and prominence. In the beginning, they were only reselling some daily goods, but now they're one of the richest guilds around with a lot of business connections in the city. So, they're like a sister organization of Spina di Rosula? Yes, you can say that. When we were fighting against the synth dealers, they provided us with plenty of support. It's a bit difficult to imagine someone using their own money to hunt down themselves. They could have been giving you false leads. They could have been doing, you know, things. The final suspect is Thierry, the man responsible for coordinating information between Spina di Rosula and the guards. Although the guards mostly leave us to our own devices, there are still many activities we have to report to the local authorities. Since Thierry is always in the know about our current activities, he could theoretically always plan one step ahead. I see. These are all people who I communicate with quite regularly. Ooh, that's dangerous. To think that the enemy we've been fighting against has been right next to me all along, among those I trust the most. It's almost too hard to believe. If you want to investigate them, please take every precaution to not alert the quarry. Judging from our experience, the enemy is extremely cautious. Mm, of course. And thank you, Malus. You've provided us with a lot of great information. You're too kind, my lady. I'm just doing my duty. And before I forget, proving Boss's innocence would also mean clearing him of blame in Jacques' death. After that incident, Jacques' wife and daughter were taken into the Spina's care. Oh, they, they still live here. Today. If it might help, you could also pay them a visit. I can make the necessary arrangements. Oh, thank you so much, Melus. You really are the best. Oh, no, he definitely is. A new case awaits, my dear partner. I Let's hope go. We can work together to uncover the truth and end this case once and for all. Oh, we're back into investigation mode. Okay. But no, that's so fucked up. They they went straight for the fucking person that would make him shut up. It is settled then. Please excuse me, and enjoy your conversation at your leisure. Thank you for arranging everything for us, Malus. Excuse me, miss. Do you need anything from us? I can understand why the daughter looks pretty pissed off. She looks very upset, and I, I, I get it. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Navia's all quiet. This isn't like her at all. Technically, she's facing the people who, you know, allegedly her father murdered. So, uh, like, you know. I'm sorry that I I'm, only I'm, came yeah, to visit the after yeah. all this time. After what happened, I didn't know how I was supposed to face the two of you. Ah, if it's about that, there's no need to apologize. After my husband died, Spina di Rosula sent us a lot of Mora and support. I understood your guilt and apology to be genuine. But aren't all of those things nothing compared to the loss of Jacques? <sighs> I can understand the kind of pain that comes with losing a father so needlessly. You don't understand at all. She does in a sense, but I understand your side over here. I didn't know how to face you. Because I didn't know what I could possibly bring as a consolation gift. I know only the full truth could bring closure to you and to all of us. Mm hmm. I'm sorry. I appreciate the sentiment, but you don't have to carry all that guilt. 
on the matter regarding my husband, my daughter and I have more or less found our answer already. Would you mind sharing it with me? I really can't believe that my father could ever bring himself to shoot Jacques. I always knew that my husband's money was earned through others' suffering. He told me countless times that if he could turn back the clock, he would never go into the synth business again. He had many regrets, and felt that he took the idea of providing for his family too literally. For the longest time, he thought Mora was everything. So when Mr. Callis came to him with a proposal, he accepted it almost immediately. He tried to be as careful as he could, but even so, he was still found out by yeah, the Yeah, okay. They found out about his betrayal? Papa didn't say that exactly, but Papa did tell me that I should never be ungrateful. Before he left that day, he told me that he had no choice. It was only later that I realized it was his final farewell to the two of us. I don't know that for sure, but you could say that's the conclusion I eventually came to. Which is why I'm the one who should feel guilty. Callus had always taken great care of us, both when he was still alive and after he passed away. Even if he fired the shot that killed my husband, it was likely in self-defense. It is impossible for me to hate him for what he had done. But Mama, why is Papa still the bad guy if he did the right thing? Oh, moral great does fuck shit up. Papa always wanted to be a good man, so why did he have to do a bad thing in the end? Well, things aren't always as they seem. You still feel like your papa was a good man, right? Yeah, papa was a really good man. The best in the whole world. Then you should hold on to that. If a good man had to do a bad thing, then he must have had his reasons. Regardless of whether he left you a parasol or a uh -oh. <laughs> fuck. he must have done so <sighs> to give you a better life. Um, who? Oh. Oh, am I crying? Oh shit! I did not mean to cry. Thank you, for everything you've told me. I will definitely find the truth. The current state of things is not something I'm willing to just sit back and accept. I'm gonna help out wholeheartedly, traveler. You could say you're not gonna help out. I'm still helping. Thank you. <laughs> I'm very grateful to hear this from you. Even though your personality is quite different from your father's, your determination when you speak is really similar. You really think so? That's the first time anyone said that to me. Oh. Holy fuck, I'm sorry. I'm actually about to cry. I feel it. Ooh. Okay, I'm sorry. I feel it. You know, like, when you already feel the, the teary you, eyes. <laughs> uh, I'm fine. Don't worry. Let's investigate the three suspects next. It's okay to not be okay. <laughs> should be nearby, and we should be able to find Thierry and Uncle Marcel in the city. Okay. I'll get myself together on the way. So, please don't worry. You don't have to rush it. <laughs> if you told me to wait a little bit, I'd wait a little bit. I'm not even gonna lie. This is so much, like, to, to process and learn. You know what I mean? Just... I I don't know how Navia is not just... Needing a full moment by herself. Fuck. Greetings, boss! How may I be of assistance today? He's a possible traitor, so I kind of- I'm kind of angry just looking at him. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard about what happened at the Opera House. Someone got turned into water right in front of us. Oh, good good choice of topic, because, you know, it, would, it wouldn't really bring suspicion, because she was just there mentioning what she's seeing. Yeah, I've heard. With something that dramatic, I'm sure journalists will milk it for all it's worth. And it'll be all the talk for the next several weeks. It also reminded me. 
On the day oh. that the incident happened with my father, it was raining outside, and we found some clothes left at the scene. Ooh, yeah. What's his reaction? After my partner here put the dots together for me, I feel like we should try to reopen his case. Can you do me a favor and try to recall what happened that night? Hmm. Let me think. Mr. Callis was feeling pretty upbeat that day. So he was drinking and bantering away with us at the table. Okay. After that, he told us that he wanted to go get some fresh air. So we let him go without thinking much of it. Who knew that we would hear two gunshots ring out right after? My first reaction was that Mr. Callis's life was in danger. So I grabbed my holster and made a mad dash toward the scene. But when I got there, it was already too late. Mr. Callis was standing over a dead body with a gun in his hands. All we could do was look back and forth at each other, not knowing what to say. So he had a gun with him, okay. So you also remember two gunshots then? Mm -hmm. Indeed. The guard said that the first shot didn't hit anyone. Oh, that's suspicious. Shot. Wait, that is I suspicious. Never really that explanation. Yeah, no, I, I don't buy it. Thank you for mentioning that yourself. No, the guard said that the first shot didn't hit anyone. How can you be so sure? Is that speculation because there wasn't a second gunshot? Or or did that dude jump out and try to kill him? And so the person that, that uh, her dad actually shot at was the one who turned to water. Is that what happened? Like, that was been my thought process, but I, I didn't know if there was evidence. That's just casually why I, I brought up, did, is was there two gunshots? Reason being, Mr. Callis had left his gun on the table. I even made sure to confirm that before running to the scene. Now that's also suspicious, though. If he genuinely didn't have his gun, where'd he get the gun from? Unless... Okay, here's random speculation. Do you think... The gun might have been with, uh, Jock. And then, um, he got shot and Callus was able to grab the gun and shoot back at the other guy who, or whoever who dissolved. There are missing pieces, but there, there are many ways that could still work. But according to the guards, that doesn't mean he couldn't have had other guns on his person. Or if there was a third person, there was another gun. About the clothes left at the scene that you mentioned... Do you think there was a third person there who was turned into water? At least from our perspective, my father had no reason to kill. So he would also have no reason to bring, to bring an, an extra, extra gun, gun. With him. Yeah. The gun he was holding probably belonged to Jacques or a third person on the mm -hmm. scene. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So you're saying Mr. Callis ended up with the gun because he seized it from one of the other guys? But hold on. If that's what had happened, then why didn't he share oh, the truth where it gets with any of tricky. us? He didn't even want to face the Oratrice machine, and chose instead to prove his honor in a duel. Did he lose all faith in the courts after seeing someone dissolve right in front of his eyes? Or there could be other things. Mm, about that, Malus told me a thing or two. So, I think I can understand why he committed to the duel. I'll tell you everything, once the whole truth has been revealed. I understand. Then, I'll leave Mr. Callis's honor in your hands, boss. And if I may just say one more thing. The whole Callis the Unfaithful epithet has been a thorn in my side since the day it was invented. Many people have laughed at me for still calling him Mr. Callis, even after so many years have passed. That's fucked up. You should never, like... There could be a, a dark spot, like, it all, all, always also depends on what's done. But especially if it's a case where no one has actually proven the thing, to laugh at people who still wholeheartedly believe that he was falsely charged. And, like, you shouldn't make fun of the person, at least. Not like that. And just, yeah. It was Mr. Callis's trust that allowed me to rise through the ranks of Spina di Rosula and live the life I lead today, no matter what others might say. He'll always be the man I respect the most. And he'll always be my boss. Don't worry. I will definitely find the truth. You and all our other comrades at the Spina deserve to know the truth as well. 
Okay. Information regarding you. Well, okay. This is also just emotionally charged, man. <laughs> Every second I feel like I'm fine. I'll follow. Oh, you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Thierry, it's me. Oh, now what brings you here, Miss Navia? I've heard that you made quite the name for yourself at the Opera House. Oh, so you've caught news of that already. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm also a member of the guards, you know. The way you make it sound, people would think I was sent off to Poisson because I had done something wrong. I don't know, sure did you? a little bit of truth in that? Under normal circumstances, shouldn't you have been called back to the city already? <laughs> I mean, where I work is really up to me. Let's just say I enjoy the ambiance of Poisson. Callus did a fantastic job running the town. Building Spina di Rasula from the ground up and clearing many obstructions in my way. It would okay. be next to impossible for me to find a similarly easy but high paying job in the city. <sighs> anyway, enough chit chat. Are, are these two friends of yours? You uh, here for some formal business? Ah, uh, yes. These two are my partners. What happened at the Opera House made us realize that Lenny's case and my father's may be related. We're trying to reinvestigate the details of my father's old case. Ah, I get it. You think there might be more to the case mm -hmm. now that we know people can be dissolved into water, right? I was also flabbergasted when I first heard of it. Okay, I might be jump jumping the gun. You know, everyone was told about the water incident, so maybe that's what he's thinking. And it it's logical if you really think about it. I'm just amazed we didn't bring it up first, is all I'm saying. If you want to go through the original files from your father's case, I can help you look for them. That'd be much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, actually, I have another question. Do you have the authority to dispatch Gardamex? Of course. Without them, I couldn't possibly handle Poisson on my own. Okay. Why do you ask? We definitely can't use them to forcefully get more evidence for your father's case. That is not our plan. Uh, you see, just recently, we were attacked by a horde of unnumbered Gardamex in the city. So, <laughs> if you hypothetically wanted to do something against me, all you would need to do was get rid of the Mecha serial numbers and send them after me. <laughs> then you think too highly of my abilities. Dispatching Mecca is very different from controlling them. If I had to make an analogy, when you order a dish, the chef will make it for you. You can ask the chef to cook, but not to massage your shoulders or carry your baggage. If you try to make unreasonable demands, the chef would just think you're out of your mind and ignore you completely. The same goes for me and my Gardamex. Removing a serial number is also not as easy as you might think. There are a lot of complex steps to it, and it's almost impossible to keep it a secret. So I can promise you, those mecha were definitely private units. They're certainly not cheap. So whoever their owner is must be super rich, mm -hmm. powerful, or both. Now that you mention it, though, being in the synth business would definitely be profitable enough to afford this. Makes sense. Oh. <laughs> then you're officially in the clear, Thierry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for the vote of confidence, Navia. <laughs> I'm sorry, just the timing of that. You'd have to be very rich and powerful. You're cleared, bud. You're clear. <laughs> Jokes aside, I'd like to wish you all the best with your investigation. I'll be staying in the city for a little while, so... Just come find me if you need any support from the guards. The only one left is uh, the one she referred to as Uncle, so let's go and do that. Who's also over here in the city? Oh, should I have gone over the wall? I should have. It's okay, I see an opening. 
I don't know this city too well, so I, I get a little lost in here. Hello. How may I help you? I'm here to see Marcel. Could you please let him know? You can just say Navia's looking for him. Sure. I will let him know right away. Okay. Ah, Navia, hello. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not as young as I used to be, so my legs are giving out a bit. Okay. Oh, it's all right, Uncle Marcel. There's no need to stress. I just wanted to talk to you briefly about what happened in the Opera House. I'm sure you saw everything too, right? Oh, was he actually there? Yes, uh, I've never seen anything so strange. Oh, you were at the Opera House too? That's right. I went there with Navia to see the magic show. Who knew it would turn into a whole murder mystery? I also witnessed your marvelous sleuthing work. Quite impressive. To beat the Hydro Archon at her own game on her own turf. <laughs> yeah, true, true. I can true, true. imagine everyone in Fontaine discussing your exploits over a few glasses of wine. Oh, Paimon doesn't want to become the talk of drunkards. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies. It's just how Fontaine is as a nation. Everyone loves drama and theatrics. A little too much, but yeah. Uncle Marcel, you've also noticed that other thing, right? The fact that humans can dissolve Yeah, the fact that you haven't mentioned that. Yes, I was reminded of your father's case right away. Is that what you're investigating now? Exactly. I still don't have much solid proof, but I can sense that the other side has already begun to act. Oh, and what makes you say that? We were attacked on Araneus by some unnumbered Gardamax. And there was also an attempt to get me to drink water from the Primordial Sea. If not for the vigilance of my partner, I probably wouldn't even be here talking to you right now. Oh, you're giving us too much credit. Wasn't it you who protected us? In a sense, we both protected each other. Alas, it seems things are heating up again. The peace that Callus sought so dearly will soon become a thing of the past. You're reacting so much more mellow to the news that she could have been gone. <laughs> but rest assured, Navia, Poisson will always remain a safe haven for you. If you're scared, you can always return there. Why just there, though? If anyone dares to lay their hands on you there, the Confrerie of Cabriere will use its funds to the last Mora to bring them to justice. Thank you, Uncle Marcel. But I don't intend to go into hiding. I'm going to strike while the iron's hot. Do you have any new thoughts on my father's case? Ah, about that. Sorry, my age is catching up with me, so it'll take me a while to recall my memory. The Conferee was responsible for that banquet, so I was out and about the whole time making sure things were running smoothly. I didn't even have the time to drink with the guests. Then I heard the sound of a gunshot. A gunshot? A singular gunshot, my friend? Oh, it's okay. No need to push yourself. We'll ask around some more. See if there are any valuable clues elsewhere. Sounds good. Just let me know if you ever need Mora. All my wealth comes from Callus's patronage and support. I'll spend however much it takes to clear his name. Navia, I'm so sorry, but I think he's guilty. Unless his poor memory is genuinely catching up with him to the point where he doesn't remember two gunshots. I I think we might know who done it. I'm not saying the others couldn't have helped out in a certain way, but We've talked to all three suspects, purely based on their conversations with me. None of them sounded particularly suspicious. Did you not hear it? They didn't stand out necessarily, but mm -hmm. There's a change in story. To be expected, though. If a single conversation's all that's needed to find them out, then my father wouldn't have needed to investigate the case for so many years. Mm -hmm. That is also true. Anyway, even though we didn't make a breakthrough, let's still compile what we were able to find. Hmm. But 
Where should we start? Ah, oh, you're right! Flora mentioned that Palace probably only ended up with the gun because of circumstance. Hmm, that makes sense. According to Jacques' family members, he already told them that he had been discovered and that he had no choice before he left home that day. Hmm. If I had to guess, he probably received an order from the Synth Boss to kill my father. Had he refused, he and his family's lives would have been forfeit. So, Jacques fired the first shot? Possibly, yes. Oh? Then why is that? Oh, that's a good point. Jack probably already knew that he was just being used as a tool for murder. And once he had completed his mission, he'd be of no more use to his boss. Because he's already given information once. Why would he... St uh, what, what's the guarantee he wouldn't do it again, necessarily, if the circumstances arise? Huh. So, what would make more sense from his perspective would be to turn his back on the Order and seek protection from my father. Makes sense. But without evidence, that's still just a theory. Besides, Jock, the attack from the Gardamex has been bothering me quite a bit as well. It's obvious that our enemy has become more antsy after the secret of the primordial seawater was revealed. It was much easier when no one knew about it. Do you think he knew, even then, that we'd follow this lead to the end? Given everything that's happened since, uh, it's quite possible. But who among the three suspects would have the ability to control privately owned Gardamex? No offense, I'm sorry. Uncle Marcel? Uh, hmm. My father did really trust And he him. talks about Mora a and lot. We worked together on a large number of projects. Maybe that's how he got to know Jacques. And with funds from the Contrary, he could also afford a large number of Gardamex. Still really hard for me to imagine, though. After all, Uncle Marcel has been around since I was just a child. Yeah, that sucks, but... And also, wouldn't this mean he has been spending a whole lot of mora and energy to fight his own synth business? How... or is it really someone else? I feel like he's part of it. I don't, maybe his memory really is that shitty to only remember one gunshot. They also could all just be working together in their own little way. I don't know. Do I just go through this whole line of people? Be safe? Huh. It is possible that he's figured out a way to convert the Gardamex for personal use. But I didn't feel like he mm -hmm. was lying when he was talking to us about the Mecha. I also don't think he'd be able to keep that kind of tampering under wraps. Yeah. Had he actually tampered with the Mecha, we'd be able to prove it with a simple check of the guard's inventory. I'm sorry, I real fe really feel like it's Marcel. I could be wrong. Like, go ahead, you know, if I'm wrong, someone go and call me out on it. But I feel like he has some r part of it too, because if he was there at the performance, I imagine he would have talked to her and know that y you two were working together. I don't know, it's interesting that they knew you were going to a dinner too. Like a fit, uh, like for food. Flora? It is true that he was closest to my father, and thus had the best chance of learning about his dealings with Jacques. But, as Spina di Rosula's advisor, his work mostly deals with personnel and security. So, he shouldn't have much means when it comes to finances. So you're saying he's too broke to afford a mecha army? Exactly. He can't. And even if he could, I don't think he would be able to dispatch a whole group so quickly. <sighs> Who could it be? Which of the three suspects was most likely to have committed the crime? Oh, we're still missing something. I still feel like it's him. You know, if you think everything through, Uncle Marcel is indeed the most suspicious of them all. Am I right? Could we be missing other suspects? Malus didn't know about the people turning into water thing when he narrowed it down to these three, did he? 
Malus has always been very reliable, and his judgment of others' trustworthiness has been fair and well considered. When he laid out his case for the three, the rationale he gave me made a lot of sense as well. The suspect is knowledgeable about the Spina's internal affairs, has the means to dispatch Mecha to assassinate us, and possesses significant intellect and foresight. <sighs> Even if I don't want to believe it, I'm starting to see how things could all tie back to Uncle Marcel. Well, we still have another trump card on top of all the theorizing and speculating. Yes, Malus did say that charging straight in there would be extremely risky. But we don't have any other options right now. What if we just went? We I mean, Navia probably wouldn't accept we that. To go charging in on our enemy. Navia, here you are. Oh, I've been looking for you. Oh, what happened? What's huh? up? Aren't you the guy from the guards? Did something happen? Yeah, what's up? Oh, I'm scared. Yeah. News came from Arenaeus just after you left. We've got another, another trial? trial on our hands. Wasn't that place built specifically for holding trials? What's so newsworthy about this one? I know, I know. But they said the person they're putting on trial is a Fatui Harbinger <laughs> the called The fuck? Tartaglia. Wait, what did Tartaglia do? What? What? Is that someone you know? Yeah, we know him. Maybe even a little too well. The f what? what do they have him on? He's been accused of being the oh, true culprit of behind course. the scene of disappearances case. Of course. It's absurd, don't you think? Wait, how? None of our investigations have had anything to do with him. That's what I thought was strange about it, so I came to tell you the news right away. If the charge against him stands, then it'll be next to impossible to get the guards to support any of our planned investigations. Right. Because they'll think they've already found, found the, the culprit. culprit. Oh my god, really? Yeah. And it'll be hmm. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to skip that. <sighs> well, partner, what do you think we should do? We still haven't found any conclusive evidence. But so far, the stuff we've kind of figured out does not point at Tartaglia. Um, Let's split uh, up. Split up? What do you mean? <laughs> we are splitting. Okay, yeah, yeah. Of my partner. Since this is a trial about the serial disappearances case, the culprit's attention will be focused on Arrhenius, leaving his home base wide open. You're right. This is our best opportunity. <laughs> All right, then. Let's do this. I'll stall them at the Opera House and charge Marcel as the true culprit. I won't have any chance of making that charge stick, though, unless we find more evidence. Mm -hmm. It'll be up to you to make it back in time and hand the decisive evidence to me. I'll do my best. You. We have to. Like you helped us in mm -hmm. trial. Demoiselle, please allow us to accompany you. I'm ready. Oh, Malou, Silver, when did you two get here? We heard that you'll be leaving Voisson and figured that you might require our assistance. It's our hope that your confidence will be bolstered with the two of us by your side. It's always good to have numbers. <laughs> Thank you so much. Then, let's make haste for Arrhenius. Paimon, Traveler, I'll see you at the Opera House. See you then! Okay. Glad I wasn't the only one. Yep, no. We, we need to get there fast. Let's go, Paimon. It's time to get over your fear of the water. I don't know. I might need that. Buddy, now is not the time to want to fight. <laughs> Sorry, but he made me do it, okay? Oh, we are a bit injured. Might as well, uh... Oh, shit. Base is nearby. 
Oh. Oh, that does make sense. Finally found it. Huh. So this is the entrance that leads to the synth production base. It sure doesn't seem out of the ordinary at all. Ah, you're right. An important place like this is bound to have a ton of protective measures and mechanisms. Navia's probably arguing up a storm right now to stall for us. Oh, we're gonna see it? I was wondering, I was like, are we gonna actually see any of that? It would appear that I must repeat my question again, Mr. Tartaglia. Oh shit. Child, what what nonsense do you unfortunately find yourself in? Do you accept the charge that you are the true culprit behind the serial disappearances case? To be perfectly honest, I don't understand your country's complicated court system or the reason why I'm being charged with something I've never even heard of. Exactly. However, I did hear that people who have been charged can choose to participate in a duel to clear their name. Is that right? In which case... As long as I accept the charge, I he would in fact do this. Yeah, child, you're a fucking dumbass. Right? I've got to admit, that's one of the most enticing offers I've ever received. When I privately sparred with her last time, she was obviously holding back. Real disappointing. Hey, don't you understand? You're currently the prime suspect for a major case. This isn't the place for you to be looking for fights. Why is he the prime suspect? Oh, sounds like the Hydro Archon wants to lecture me on the ways of the Opera House. Then why don't you duel me too? I'm the kind of student that learns best in the heat of battle. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. That's not what I meant. She is so not meant for battles. Alas, it would appear that communication with the defendant is going poorly. We have made very little progress. In that case, let me explain everything from the very beginning again. The goal of this trial is to determine the culprit behind the serial disappearances case. <laughs> that case had nothing to do with him. You've got the wrong man. Oh, God. Huh? What's going on? <sighs> Why is she interjecting again? Because... I'm so sorry for anyone. I just shouted in their ear. I did not realize how much energy I, I needed to exude in that moment. Anyways, uh, doubtful audience member, number 51. Uh, you know, there, last time she interjected was because someone was fucking innocent. Now, if she's interjecting again, she has reasons to believe we have another innocent me uh, like person up on the stand. You fucking idiot. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I told you it couldn't be one of the Fatui Harbingers. Miss Navia, this is the second time you've interrupted the court proceedings. I only tolerated your behavior last time because you were able to provide the court with a key eyewitness. Yes, and... I don't fucking care. Based off the fact that she interrupted because there was key witness in like shit. Uh, that was an exception rather than standard court protocol. I can very well charge you with contempt of court for your interjection. Charge me with contempt? You charged a random person who had nothing to do with this anyways. Your system seems to like just fucking pointing fingers and going, that person, your honor, they're guilty. Why not? Why the fuck not? Oh, please. Did you ever think I had any respect for this place's pointless theatrics? I can see why she's not caring either. Because no, again, no. If there's someone going, wait, you've literally charged the wrong fucking man. You don't go sh silence. You go, what do you mean? We can put the discussion aside for now. I'm not here to argue with you. I'm here to charge the true culprit behind the serial disappearances case. And if my charges prove true, then Tartaglia here will be proven innocent by default, correct? Oh, a young lady has charged in and offered to clear my name. <laughs> Fascinating. Well, I've gotten half bored to death by all these rules and procedures anyway. So I'll take you up on that offer. So, Your Honor, is there nothing else for me to do now? You may take a seat for now in the audience, but that doesn't mean the suspicions against you have been lifted. Now then, Miss Navia, who is the person you would like to charge instead? That person is... Marcel, the head of Confrérie of 
Cabriere! Huh? What Confrere? Never heard of them in my life! <laughs> I told you she was confused, audience member number 53 or whatever. I've heard of them, but weren't they Spina di Rosula's sister organization? Oh, is this going to be a friends to enemies type situation? Oh, y'all motherfuckers. Holy fuck. I hate this place. If I was to live here and I knew this is how my laws were fucking, like, like the court system was going, I'd fucking hate it. No offense. Please let me remind you, Miss Navia, that charging someone is an incredibly serious matter. Committing to the charge also means taking on the legal responsibilities associated with it. And if the charge fails, depending on the circumstances, you may also be charged with the crime of making a false accusation. Knowing this, do you still wish to charge this man? No offense, but then your Archon should be arrested. But then again, she's your Archon. She got a free pass. <laughs> yes, I do. In that case, I declare the charge to be valid. Miss Navia and attorneys, please take your places on the court. Members of the guards, please contact Mr. Marcel right away so that he may stand trial. Mr. Marcel, you will not require an attorney, is that correct? Ah, uh, apologies, sir. Uh, it all just happened so quickly, I still haven't figured out what's going on. I think an attorney won't be necessary. This is probably just a misunderstanding between me and Navia. Very well. In that case, since you both might sides regret have now that. arrived, Miss Navia, please present your charges. I would like to take everyone back to three years ago, to the case of... Callus the Unfaithful. Only through elucidating what really happened in that case can we connect all the dots for the serial disappearances case. Navia, do you really think that I was the one who killed your father? Come on, why would I do that? Callus was my benefactor, and remember both you and I only ran to the scene when we heard the sound of a gun. If that's enough to make me a suspect, wouldn't that make everyone at that banquet a suspect as well? Well, I mean, we could go down the... okay. <laughs> in getting into the specifics right now. The audience doesn't even have the big picture yet. Even I'm <laughs> struggling to remember some details of that case. Okay, so guys, why isn't it a law that your Archon, who's just there to spectate, can't just, like, stay quiet? Exactly correct, Your Honor. <laughs> I must refresh everyone's memory about that case before I can explain my charge and reasoning. I see. In which case, I will recount the findings about that case as originally recorded by Maison Guardianage. On the day of the murder, Spina di Rosula hosted a large banquet in a countryside estate owned by the Confrerie of Cabriere. During the banquet, all attending guests heard two gunshots from the courtyard. Mm -hmm. When the guests arrived at the scene, they found the primary suspect, Callus, holding a gun while his acquaintance Jacques lay dead from a gunshot wound. The guards' investigation did not recover any other firearms from the scene. As a result, they concluded that the suspect's first shot must have missed, or the second must have taken Jacques's life. The suspect did not dispute this conclusion, and also declined to defend himself in court. Instead, he chose to prove his innocence through a duel. Callus was defeated by champion duelist Clarand in the ensuing duel, and soon succumbed to the injuries. These are the known facts about the case. <sighs> the one with the motive to kill was Jacques, not my father. And even so, Jacques still had no reason to pull the trigger. Uh, in truth, the third person shot Jacques first, and was shot in turn by my father when my father seized the gun from him. After that, the true culprit turned the third person into water, Erasing all traces of him from the scene. <clears throat> Thank you for the summary, Your Honor. Of course, the guard's conclusion appeared quite sensible to us at the time. However, we should revisit the case now that we've gained new information about the abilities of water from the primordial sea. Mm hmm. Sorry. There are times I wish this wasn't a game because I'm sitting here just so invested myself. Um, okay. Now the banquet's alright. Two gunshots should be right. Oh, had a motive to kill. No, that needs to be changed. So 
Something's not right. Really? I feel like that needs to be changed because it says did... Cause... No, because it says during the banquet, all attending guests heard two gunshots. That's correct. According to investigation, Callus, who had a motive to kill, murdered Jocks for the betrayal. Am I just not remembering? Okay. The testimony of the victim's mm -hmm. family confirms that Jacques had thoughts of assassinating Callus when he set out for the banquet. However, in the end, he reconsidered and instead shared everything with Callus, hoping to seek the latter's protection. Un oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to skip that. This okay. assassin first shot Jacques, then turned to shoot Callus, only for Callus to wrestle the gun from him and kill him instead. Okay, so guards investigation did not recover the firearms. As a result, the first shot must have missed. No, it's. A pile of clothing there was we go. found at the scene. The guards once believed they were used by Jacques as a costume to disguise himself. But now, it is clear that the clothes were proof that there was a third person at the scene. And that they were turned into water after committing the murder. Since it was raining that day, the culprit was confident that they could use the rain to wash away all traces of their dissolved accomplice. Okay. Realizing this, the true culprit caused the hired assassin to dissolve into water. Leading everyone to believe Callus was responsible for Jacques's murder. This is the true version of events. Ah, so that's what happened. Wait, you're telling me something as dangerous as water from the Primordial Sea has been used for all these years? No shit, bitch. No shit. Motherfucker, it took just someone to, about to fucking speak out. They got silence. You don't silence up. Oh my. What a great theory. It also explains Callus's and Jacques's respective motives. I guess they didn't shoot each other after all. You said one gunshot, sir. I don't want to hear from you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, you are the one being charged with the crime. You should provide a rebuttal mm -hmm. if you wish to prove your innocence. Explain what happened, like, from your side and other things. Ah, but I think I agree with everything Navia just said. In fact, there was nothing in her speech that directly implicated me. Yeah, but there's... Uh, then, may I ask some questions? In my opinion, we primarily need to determine two things. One, do you have the evidence to back up your claims? <sighs> I'm afraid not. At least not at this very moment. Boo! <laughs> if you don't have any evidence, you should just go. I put home. my controller down. I put my controller down. Woman, I, I still physically want to punch or slap my screen with your face right there. You mother. We just talked about a murder case, and someone still has the youthful energy to go, boo! Ha ha ha! Should have just gone home. Bitch, if I know that the person you're charging is innocent and I have information and this is a personal case to me, I don't give a fuck if I don't have the personal evidence right here. I'm telling you motherfuckers to fucking listen and fucking grow up and do your jobs. And to people in the audience, I hate you. Sorry. To all people in the audience who aren't acting like this woman or like, you know, truly like in their head completely have it as a play i'm sorry even though the people who have it in a play because you grew up in this environment but still still okay i may not have the evidence with me but i know where i could go to collect it if we look up the deserted clothes against a record of people who went missing around the same time we should be able to find a match considering the serial disappearances case the guards probably kept careful records of all missing persons from around that time Regardless of age or gender. They should have. That's in their in their right responsibilities, they should have. That makes sense to me. Monsieur Nouvellet, 
I would consider this to be a reasonable investigative direction. Holy shit, Farina so said something that makes sense for once. Why do I feel like Farina's acting a little different? She is, today. so I'm low-key scared. That's why I called it out. Maybe she's scared of embarrassing herself again? There's a lot of things going on. Alternatively, she's become more diligent after charging I a don't think so. I like the other explanation better. My second question has to do with the ensuing duel. If the truth is indeed as you described, then why didn't Mr. Callus explain himself in court? If he had testified that a person had been dissolved, he could have at least mounted a defense. I've thought about this too, and the answer is actually pretty simple. He felt there were things that were more important to him. The dissolving power of water from the Primordial Sea is an important secret for the true culprit of the serial disappearances case. My father could have exposed it for all to see, but he chose to take it to the grave. At that time, Spina di Rosula was in dire straits, and his reputation had already been shattered. He had no guarantee that going forward with the truth would allow the culprit to be brought to justice. What was certain, however, was that it would paint a gigantic target on my back. Boss once told me that Demoiselle had already been selected as the next target of the serial disappearances case. What? If the secret had gotten out, the culprit would have fought an all-out war with Espina right there and then. I wouldn't have been the only one in danger. All of us would have stood to lose our lives. Mm -hmm. Of course, the guards might eventually figure out the truth of the matter and determine that we were in the right. But what good would that do? How can a hollow verdict protect anyone? Had this opera house ever given my father any kind of confidence in its brand of justice, Spina di Rosula would have had no reason to exist. But by staying silent, we retain the ability to deter our opponents and continue the stalemate. I was able to become Spina di Rosula's president, which made me harder to target, as well as giving me more time to grow and learn. And once I have figured out the truth and stepped up to the challenge, I will do what this opera house cannot and restore my father's truth and honor back to him. So, you mean to say, your father intended to die in the duelist's ring? Mm-hmm. That's right. Do you have any proof? Of course. All you need is to ask his opponent, Clorand. I don't need your apology, your guilt, or your support from the shadows. You don't have to do anything for my sake. But since he entrusted his will to you, Clorand, you should tell us the truth about his sacrifice. Um, so, during the duel, did you believe that Callus was intending to die? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. As a champion duelist, I've fought many battles and taken a countless number of dishonored lives. In my line of work, I've seen all kinds of people give their all for the faintest hope to continue living. Some were determined, others passionate, and some even manic and twisted. Just one look and I can tell if a duelist is hoping to live or if they're looking to die. I hereby swear on my name and honor as a champion duelist that Mr. Callus never intended to leave the ring alive. <sighs> Mm, that still fucking hurts. Since that's your testimony, I have no more questions. It appears there really are good grounds to reopen this case. I concur. However, Miss Navia, you still have not explained the link between your father's case and the serial disappearances case. Right? What she said was fascinating, but kind of beside the point. You shut up. We let the... The ones in charge talk. Thank you for noticing some things, and I appreciate that you, you are at least taking to her side and not, like, arguing some dumb shit like the other person. But, but, can we have order? Wait, weren't they just talking about the serial disappearances case? <sighs> of course, Your Honor. The two cases are connected via a matter of time. Timing. In my father's case... The culprit intended to kill both Jacques and Callus. 
As a result, they plan to act after hearing two gunshots. And, at the end of Linny's trial, the culprit also only dissolved the victim in front of everyone because they realized they were at risk of being identified. The culprit could only time their actions so precisely if they were already at the scene. Coincidentally, Marcel attended both the banquet and the trial. So that's why you suspected me. Ah, even after hearing your reasoning, I still can't help but find it a little preposterous. I'm used to it, though. You've always been an impulsive and sentimental child, Navia. It's one of your most endearing traits. I don't like how calm he's talking. Like, it could be, like, because he's genuinely like, I know I'm innocent, this is just some type of misunderstanding. But he's also not throwing anything else back at it, though. I want to hear more of why he's so confident, right? Like, I want to... Even though he's he's looking at it as, like, oh, it's just some type of, uh, you know, misunderstanding, he's not explaining why it's a misderstanding. He's not really doing much of that, like, whatsoever, and it's really confusing. No need to appeal to pathos. I won't try to refute your points one by one, but even if everything you just said was true, can you prove that I was the only person present at both events? I can't, but that actually just makes you look suspicious, because now you're like, you can't prove that I'm the only one who was there. On top of that, does a person have to be physically present to control the timing? Can't someone remotely monitor the place? I'm so glad you're bringing up these questions. Ah. Come on, we're back, right? Why does that instantly change it? I know that even with that, you might still think you can reduce the list of suspects with some further investigations until I'm the only one left on the list. Oh, there's emotion coming through. That was not a positive emotion, sir. Alas, who won't feel at least a little hurt by an accusation of murder from a girl you see as your own daughter? I'm sorry, I feel gaslit? The fuck? Did you really just say, alas, who won't feel at least a little hurt by an accusation of murder from a girl you see as your own daughter? You're really going for her emotions, sir. The fuck's wrong with you? Am I being a little harsh? I'm sorry. But if I were to dismiss this completely, you'd also think I'm not being considerate of your feelings. Ah, well. Let Uncle Marcel teach you another lesson. I'm sorry. Based off his last statement, that statement... Gave me the ick. <laughs> Again, guys, open to being wrong. I'm just saying, with my belief that he is part of this whole thing, I, I did not like what he just said. Do you know what the biggest flaw in your reasoning is? You hear his tone in his fucking smirk? Holy fuck. Dude, no. I suppose you're gonna tell me anyways. Mm-hmm, I like that tone. Give him that fucking sass back. It's timing. What would you know about timing? I'm a businessman by trade. From that standpoint, there's no reason for me to kidnap young women. It's a high-risk action with nothing to gain. In addition, I left my home in Snezhnaya when I was young to come to Poisson and work in some trade. My business only thrived when I received Callus's patronage. Okay. But the disappearances began before I ever stepped foot in Fontaine. Maybe you're not completely guilty but you could be an accomplice uh, no the way he's charging it you don't don't I falter do apologize, no 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 there's something here no it's not your fault i'm sure he had come prepared yeah exactly with this knowledge Is up there hand anything else you'd like to say would you like to check the date of my first business license against the first known case of the serial disappearances you can also take a look at my border entry records or ask my friends and family when I left Snezhnaya for the first time. Could those records and testimonies do something to appease the unspeakable anguish in your heart? No, his tone's too aggressive here. His tone is way too fucking aggressive. No offense, like, you know, people could be mentioning to and arguing he's just really upset because this came out of fucking nowhere and he feels blindsided by someone who he quote-unquote thought of like a daughter. Gonna refresh that voice line. Uh, but no. Th the way he sh fucking tone shift. Like a motherfucker. Oh, seems like she got the wrong guy. Just like you guys did. At Anyways. Rate, will be convicted for falsely accusing him. I think you've done a superb job of dissecting your father's feelings as he neared the end of his life. But aren't you going against all of his wishes and expectations right now? 
What do you mean by that? He wished for you to become more rational, collected, and conscientious, instead of dwelling only on your own feelings. Why do you know that, huh? Why do you know that? Can I... <clears throat> Once you've learned to be more considerate of others' feelings, and to stop rushing headlong into things, you'd have met most of his expectations. Can we call him out for the two gun- He said one gunshot to you. Was that a fuck up? Was I hearing things wrong? But he said one gunshot. There's something wrong with his fucking testimony. This isn't just about me. And it never has been. The biggest difference between me and the rest of the victims is that I still have the ability to search for the truth. Mm -hmm. While that same agency has long been taken from then. The people whose families were destroyed by synth abuse, the people who lost their loved ones to the serial disappearances, and the people who suffered tragic ends due to their sense of justice. Many people's images are flashing before my eyes. I'm sure some are coming to those of you in the audience as well. We can't actually play because we do have the synth, like the connection there. Whose image do you see, Marcel? Is it a man named Vache? <gasps> See, a response! All of you clock that. All of you clock that. He would not have responded with that sort of upset, like, growl, like, what? How do you know that shit? No, it would have been, like, confusion, like, what? Who? But no, that's not how he fucking responded. Oh, so you do know that name. Haha, uh -huh. yeah. All of us clock it. I'm merely surprised. You'd suddenly say the name of someone I've never even heard of. You would not respond like that, sir. You fucking wouldn't. Oh, don't even try to pull that bullshit. I was waiting for you to say that. Yeah, how do you know that? Why does no... No, yeah. A little while earlier at the entrance... Okay, damn it! No, things were getting good! I just want to fucking slap that man! He was pulling all the fucked up cards. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh dear, Liddy... Ouch. Okay, anyways. Oh, I should not have... Yeah, should I... I should probably switch my team members out, huh? I don't know. I'll riskily keep Lenny. Lenny? Linny. I don't know why I call him that. Uh, oh my god, Lynette. I'm sorry. I just... My brain forgot that you put a top hat on in this menu. It's cute. Anyways, I'm gonna bring Tainari. Just to have backup like confirmed backup on the DPS side of things. And I, I think things will work out, hopefully. Otherwise I would bring Lynette. Because I, I I've been using the, the twins uh, on the team. Step one with nature. Shut fallen leaves. Adorn <laughs> Sorry, not used to the team setup. Not at all. It's, it's highly possible I actually could have managed with my normal team, but... Yeah, no, this place is also high-tech. Imagine all the funds they needed just to build this shit. Yeah. It looks so cool, though. Why'd this have to be like an evil layer? Paimon thinks we need to go up, but Paimon doesn't see a way. Let's take a look around. Oh Maybe dear. We'll find a hidden mechanism that'll show us the way up. He has something down in the water. I believe. Yeah, it's gonna be underneath. Let's go for a swim. in the wall. Perfect. Oh, we just swim our way up, huh? Oh, that that wasn't enough. Ways away from where we need to go. 
Ouch. Sorry, Lenny. Seems we have another duel on our hands. Into the wind. I, yeah. This quest is gonna be a doozy to re-experience. It... Gotta hand it to... I'm sorry I don't remember uh, Navia's vo voice actor off the top of my head, but she, she's doing... Like, all of them are doing a great job, but I just really want to call, like, attention to her. Here comes the finale. Oh, there's a new round. Okay. Not everything's gonna be you. one round. Into the wind. Orders given. Orders received. Clouds high. The birds call. Now disappear. Oh. <laughs> that was unnecessary. Bring the water level just the right way. Let's go. Now the path is clear. Let's go. I love the water effect they put on the voice. Interesting, the, like, interior designing went into this. It's actually a glass wall. There's more guard mechs at the end. Missing anything? No. Time to go. This is such a vast, like, tunnel system. And let's say we find out he's not even the head honcho, which he might not be, with all intents purposes. He's definitely guilty. There's no way he's not. Okay. Um. Oh. 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 There's a name too. <laughs> yeah. Huh? You mean the girls from the Fuck, I'm sorry. That <laughs> that they thought came to my mind fast, Paimon. Okay. It, 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 mm. turned, they were turned into water. And all the boxes of things. These names. That means. Oh, this is terrible. Ooh, I'm sorry. Y'all had to hear my realization of what was that. I was like, at first I was like, wait. Like, at first I thought, like, just non-offensive stuff, and then right before they pointed it out, I, I went, oh, wait, oh, shit, a name? A name. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Oh, there's so much uh, here, and so many bottles of ingredients that probably just contain the waters of the 
primordial sea. Yeah, what's their goal? They have so much of it. Mixing, Mixing in progress, ready to, yeah. Ready to drink? Stack sample? Huh. They've also got all the scents pretty clearly labeled. Whoa, there's even fruit flavored scents? Paimon, now is not the time. But yeah, that, that, it, it proves very beneficial, especially because they're trying to sell it as a, like, in a way, because it produces some uh, hallucinations, right? So they're trying to sell it in that aspect. And I'm at, I imagine maybe, just maybe, since there's so bad, like, effects after long use or taking it away entirely, that it eventually leads up to maybe even being able to control the just fucking melting of the people. Looks like some kind of place for research. Experiment number 16 aims to verify Jacob Ingold's research conclusions on the primordial sea and use his theory as a foundation to achieve Wait. a breakthrough. No, it would make sense why he was there because what? Their whole plan was to see if it would work, like how the effects of it on the uh, person that they initially took, right? And he was there, like, and if he's the one researching, he would want to be there to see if it worked. Because, you know, see if there's anyone in the box, see what effects it had in the box. Right? The experiment was a failure. No individual managed to resurface from the water from the primordial sea. Oh, dear Even lord. Specimens 22, 23, and 24 were dissolved. Okay, you're calling them specimens? Yeah, no, that's very fucked up what we're reading. How could someone write something that terrible in such a matter-of-fact tone? You read the rest. Paimon's too scared to keep going. Wait. So that's why he did all of these experiments. Was that the woman who's been calling out for Vashe? Wait. Oh. Huh? Is it that the name you heard by the fountain? Paimon thought he was an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. There could have been more to it, yeah. Uh, you mean Vache is the one who did all of these... Uh, experiments? So that's it. Vache was no victim, but personally took his lover and... No, that's not it either. If that's the case, why would he want people to resurface from the water? There, there has to be more In to it. In case, Paimon will write it all down. Ain't this kind of weird? Um... Yeah, be careful around that Paimon. That means this is where they make all the synths. And that special water is the main ingredient. If you dilute it with normal water, you'll get synths. But the pure stuff can dissolve a human. Paimon will take notes on this incriminating evidence. Let's see what's written here. Nothing escapes Detective Paimon's eyes. Hmm. Callus. Navia's father. Oh, this is the investigation report on him. Yeah, no, we need that. Hmm. Yep. It's about finding someone to assassinate Jacques and Callus there. because of a lack of confidence that Jacques himself would go through with it. That that's a nice find. This should prove the existence of the third person, right? Mm -hmm. We just need to know who that third person is now. Miserable. 
The only option left is Fuck to that. Him from the picture entirely. These pieces these people are pieces of shit. I concur. Let's send someone to kill him. He won't declare war as long as we don't touch Navia. Oh, seems like we've got a bunch of correspondence. Now who is he responding to though? Mm-hmm. It's all planned. They're all just so evil. Mm-hmm. Almost everything here, and it seems like our theories were spot on. But wait, 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 wait. Could he have changed his name? Like when he got here, he was called. I, I don't know. This is me going wild speculation. I'm just gonna throw this out there because I want to seem cool if I uh, call something again. You know, because <laughs> I didn't last time, and I feel stupid for not doing it. But um, you know, this is all just theories. But what if? Vasher's actually that dude, and that was his name while he was living up in Shneznaya, but he changed it when he came here. That's why there's no records of a Vasher anywhere around, right? Like, would that- Vache. Sorry, I don't know why I, I, I read it the way I saw it. Vache. Like, that would- kinda? I don't know. The, the, a theory. But if he came here with like di but different Navi, identity and stuff, that would change it. We won't be able to identify the true culprit. Sure thing. Paimon won't admit defeat to this guy either. Yeah, no, I feel like there's there's something more to that. I feel like he just changed his name. Where can we find something to do with his true identity? Could it be among the girl's things? Like, we find the one... Yeah. Paimon, I don't think you want to find snacks amongst the missing pe missing people's belongings. Oh, really? What Paimon see? Rinier. Isn't that Bache's lover's name? Mm-hmm. That, that should be the first place to look. Then you found her diary. Let's see. Aw. It's just a normal diary chronicling their love story. Wait, a, a baby name? Wait. So many. A whole page's worth. But they're all crossed out. Was she unhappy with all of them? The final name she decided on was Marcel. Is he going by what would have been his child's name? No, 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 I don't think. I, I think there's something else. I don't know. Paimon, you'll find out. You hold, like, Paimon, just come with us. We need to get back to Navia. And whose image do you see, Marcel? Well, we're picking right up. Is it a man named Vache? Huh. Oh, so you do know that name. I'm merely surprised you'd suddenly say the name of someone I've never even heard of. I was waiting for you to say that. Nadia, we're back! Uh, as expected of my partner, I just knew you'd return in the nick of time. Just how often do you intend to flout the rules of this court? Um... As long as it, uh, anytime you're falsely accusing someone, I'm sorry, it's probably not my paid job to interrupt you. It's all right, Monsieur Nervalet. Given their confidence, I expect they've found the crucial evidence. Are we going with the... this?
But the truth of it, Marcel, is that you've always been Vache. I'm A, so glad I was right, and B, I was not expecting the Traveler voice line. Holy fuck. <laughs> has now been established. This information regarding your past also dismantles your prior timing defense. Well, Marcel, do you know where you went wrong? Uh. You fixated your gaze on the lover that passed away instead of paying attention to the living people around you. So, you never noticed how we changed or how we grew as individuals. You also never understood Boss's real expectations for his daughter. Or our determination to see things through. Your determination? <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up, piece of shit. Mr. Marcel, please speak up now if you would like to defend yourself. Otherwise, the trial will move on to the next stage. Do you think... Do you really think I wanted to do any of this? You're the one who, like, yes, no, let's just say that this was genuinely a freak fucking accident and you discovered this through that. There's, there's still, your fucking lover would not want you to fucking do this to other people if that's, if that's gonna be the plea here. If that's gonna be the plea here, we, why don't we tell him what his fucking lover said? Fucking give up. I'm, I'm sorry. Pay attention to you. <laughs> what for? Have you ever paid attention to me? Ever empathized with my pain? Ever known how it feels to watch the love of your life dissolve right in front of your eyes? You know what, you piece of motherfucking shit. That probably sucked. You know what, I can, I can, I can understand that. That probably fucking sucked. That was the most miserable point of your life, and I can imagine how you'd feel during that. It would probably be awful. So fucking awful. But you know what? There are probably people who can kind of emphasize and fucking know what you felt. You know why? Because they didn't see them physically dissolve. But now, they're gonna know that when their loved one fucking went missing, that their fate was to be dissolved for some cruel, sick fucking experiment where this fucking madman did not give a fuck about other people. He thinks he's the fucking only one who's been fucking hurt. It fucking sucks losing somebody. But that does not ever fucking give you a right or a fucking get out of jail free card when you do something this fucked up. It does not get you to go, oh boo hoo to all of you, but have you ever looked at me? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, you piece of garbage. No one helped me. No one even believed me. All those decades ago, even the officers from the Maison Guardianage were laughing at me. Yeah, that probably sucked, but I'm so glad you've now ruined all, a whole bunch of other people's lives. I'm so sorry. The, genuinely, that fucking sucks. People should take you fucking seriously. I'm not arguing that. But to think that is reason enough to fucking give you anything to to fucking taking other people so that their their families and other people can experience the same fucking thing as you no they said there's no way a human being can turn into water so i must have gone mad from grief vinyar's death was brushed away by all of you as if it didn't matter at all no and i believe that this court is fucking stupid okay i'm not gonna lie that <laughs> sorry I'm, I'm not gonna let up on him it, no I, I, I see, but I know. Well, now you know, don't you? Ha! Well, it's too late now. All those who were dissolved are gone forever. Oh, and I'm so happy for you that you get to announce that with a ha. 
You were just gonna keep going about it if it wasn't for us fucking snooping kids. Oh, wait, one of them is a fucking victim of your dumbass fucking idiocracy. Oh, wait, you thought of her as a daughter? Wait, but wasn't she also known to be labeled as the next one planned to be disappeared? You were gonna dissolve her, bitch, and you just recently, a little bit ago, just said you felt like you treated- you thought she was your daughter. He's officially broke- broke me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a little upset. I'm a little upset. Just- just- You only have yourselves to blame. You set up this ornate opera house in pursuit of your so-called justice. Your beloved drama. While turning a blind eye to the suffering of the people. Okay, no, no. The shit you went through- the lack of care in looking into that they did for you, given what happened, that is them, their fault. But you know what's not their fault, necessarily? Like, yes, it gave you a motive. It gave you the will. But, yes, grief is a fucking strong thing. It fucks people up. It does. But now you can't go and pin it at them, necessarily. You could say, that was my motive. Yeah, you fucked me up. But that- you- you- the fact that you're throwing it in the faces of people who have nothing to do with the court system. So, okay, these people, this court system, this is what, this is what started it. This is what stemmed it all. Um, and here you are, just fucking going after people. I'm saying this one thing, because it's like, maybe, let's say maybe the victims he went after, all of them had something to do with the court. Like, let's say they did. Let's give him, like, that's the motive, why he's doing it, because of the people of this court who turn, turned a blind eye, this and that. Why was he going to put Navia as his to-be target? Why was he doing that? On his account, Callus was nothing but kind. He's the one who funded getting his business up and running and unfortunately meant fucking funding the fuck out of the fucking business that was causing all these problems but you know he was nothing but kind in doing stuff but because he was investigating it's like i'm turning on him at that point that has nothing to do with the court that has something to do with you you are just now so far beyond thought or care of other people because you know of the grief you're going through experienced and now living with that you don't even give a fuck about the person who is helping you through thick and thin. And then, you know, I don't really know if your daughter comment's real. I just keep mentioning it because it's a fucked up thing to say in that circumstance. As like your line of defense to maybe make the person question themselves, doubt themselves. Being like, but I thought of you as a daughter. But, you know, to also have that information knowing that she was chosen means that, okay, so if she really did feel like a daughter to you, you were just going to give her up. You were just gonna fucking test on her. The year is dead. We promised each other that we would always be together. Wherever she goes, I will follow. Okay, I'm sorry. My thought process was very fucked up. I'm not gonna say it. But, um, okay, uh, dude, I don't think those other women who had nothing to do with her were going to- who had to follow her. <laughs> but I'm not from this blasted place. Yeah. So can't be dissolved. No matter that sucks. What I do. That that does suck. I'm not gonna lie. That sucks. It does. But going so far, like there's a limit. It's fucked up. If like in general, okay, I'm not gonna lie. But the fact that you kept going, failure after failure, life after life, the fact that you kept going is fucked. No matter how you put it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh no, he drank it. Is that water from the primordial sea that oh no, things are going bad. Things are going south. Guys, please stop him. Can't dissolve. Can't dissolve. But there's probably can't something dissolve. the water does to you. Yeah. No, no, the water's making him go mad. Remember, it was also like a drug in a sense. You won't see? I can't go. I can't follow. So if I can't go where she is... What choice do I have but to try to bring her back? And bitch, if you succeeded, she would have bitch slapped you and fucking left you. Again, grief. Powerful thing. But if you ever think about it, the person you bring back, if they heard you fucking, like, sacrifice so many people, ru like, ruin the lives of many families and people, 
Would they be happy? Would they fucking just accept you? Like, oh my god, thank you for saving me. Thank you for bringing me back. I'm just now gonna know that I was brought back on the hard work of many lives. Is that not gonna, like, even if the person you bring back doesn't show it, weigh on their mind partially? Unless you're gonna think of some dumbass fucking lie, and then maybe they'll stumble across it down the road, and that would be even worse. I did all of that, and in the end, that accursed callous still got the better of me. Bitch, he helped you out, and because he started getting onto the fucking shady shit that was happening, and you wanted to protect the people, you wanted to fucking go and kill him. I spent my entire life living on pins and needles, only to get stabbed by his idiot daughter at the very end. <laughs> yeah, his idiot daughter? His idiot daughter, huh? The suspect is exhibiting signs of mental distress. Yeah. Guards, please restrain him. The thing he drank, maybe he can't dissolve him, but I mean, maybe it still has the effects of Don't touch other me. things. Don't anybody come near me. I still need to save him. Yeah, her promise. He made a promise. Hey, hey, can we just cut him down right now and tell him, like, not, not physically, I'm sorry, that might have sounded aggressive given my tone, but I meant, like, can we just cut his hopes and dreams down and tell him that his, his partner literally said, stop, please just go on, give up. Also, he's on a ledge. We don't want him to fall. Please, people, be prepared to catch him. Please, then, yeah. Don't think badly of me. All I want to do is fulfill our promise. Given that she doesn't want you to to do that, she probably will think bad of you. Please stop now before it's worse. At this point, the verdict of this trial is clear. With Mr. Marcel's conviction, the charges against Mr. Tartaglia no longer have any basis. Fine by me. I was in a bad mood. But after a show like that, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Traveler, please submit all the evidence you have collected to the guards, so that I might review and summarize the truth behind the serial disappearances case. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. The man now known as Marcel was originally named Varche, and worked as an adventurer with his partner and lover, Vignier. During an underwater expedition, Vignier accidentally came into contact with water from the Primordial Sea, and was dissolved in front of Vache as a result. Vache learned of the Primordial Water's existence through the work of others, and began to kidnap young women for research, with the goal of discovering a method to restore Vignier back to life. To cover his tracks, he invented the new alias of Marcel, and began to operate a business in Poisson. Yep. During the course of his research, Vache discovered that a diluted concoction of water from the Primordial Sea can induce feelings of euphoria, and began to manufacture and market synth. However, as he accumulated wealth to fund his continued research and expanded the scope, he came into conflict with Spina di Rasula. After exchanging blows with Spina di Rasula for many years, Vache decided to assassinate their president, Callus, at a banquet. Although the assassination did not go as Vache expected, he was able to turn Callus into the murder suspect by dissolving the assassin he sent to the scene. And just recently, Vache attempted to frame Linny as the culprit of the serial disappearances case using a similar method. However, his attempt to frame Linny failed, and the power of water from the Primordial Sea became public knowledge. This case also exposed enough of Vache's machinations that he was eventually successfully charged in court. Thus concludes the enigmatic history of the serial disappearances case, with the truth revealed to all. The oratrice will now deliver the final verdict regarding the charges against Mr. Vache. I'm sorry, I'm so on edge. I'm I'm still seething. I'm also scared. What if it? According to the judgment hmm. of the oratrice mechanique d'analyse, what if it says he's innocent? Mr. Varche is guilty. Okay. I was like, what if it says he's innocent? Guards, take Varche away. And be careful. This man is uh not all there. Oh no. Good. It's I'm what sorry. He I'm all scared. 
Can you not? How dare you be excited? Because that, that's not the tone of someone who's, like, so f- glad justice has finally happened. It's someone who literally just enjoyed a fucking show. That's what I'm saying. That, the serial disappearance is don't say is that. Really their not. base still exists, and we don't know how much water is out there. We really just witnessed history. Who would have thought the true culprit would be such a polite and well-spoken guy? I hate how happy we are. You know what? Maybe I'm just too emotionally charged. So I, I'm bad with stuff like this, not gonna kids. lie. Huh? Are you okay? Yeah, Paimon, read the fucking room. <laughs> Demoiselle, you were absolutely brilliant. The day our late boss had always hoped for has finally come. You can rest easy now, knowing justice has been served. I still feel like we have to be on edge, but in this case, yeah. 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 It's finally over. It's all thanks to you guys. And my partner. See, Papa? Spina di Rosula still doing well with me at the helm. Well now, hasn't this been a most delicious piece of drama? Can I slap the him? Been caught, justice has been served, past wrongs have been righted, and it's a big ol' happy ending. Since it's been such a great show, I'll just let the false accusations against me slide. Either way, I've still got some business to attend to. So, if you'll excuse me... Please wait just one moment, Mr. Tartaglia. Ugh, what now? None of this has anything to do with me. According to court protocol, since this trial was initiated due to a charge against you, a verdict must also be made regarding the initial charge before the trial. Oh, so you have conclude. to go through that dumb shit? Okay. Oh, come on. Is this really necessary? Haven't you already caught the real criminal? Isn't it time for side characters like me to exit stage left? Please respect the laws of Fontaine. This has always been the rule. All right, all right. But this sure is a lot of hassle. All I need to do is stand over there, right? Let's just get this over with. Now this is where things can get dicey. Presented in the public trial that was just held, it has been established that Mr. Tartaglia has no direct connection to the serial disappearances case. The guilty party has been identified, and thus it is logical to suppose Mr. Tartaglia is innocent of the charges. We now turn to the oratrice mechanique d'analyse cardinale to render the final verdict on the charges. This is where it's going to say guilty again, right? Did it? I don't know. I don't like that tone. According to the judgment of the oratrice mechanique d'analyse cardinale, I'm all Mr. Tartaglia is... I'm, I'm so tense. Please don't... Please, please stop. Guilty. What? No. Something's wrong. Something's up here. What? Hey, hey! That's not funny. Didn't you just say I'm supposed to be innocent? What's with this verdict? Is your justice machine malfunctioning? It's never supposedly malfunctioned before, so they're not going to agree with that. Huh? This has never happened before. The oratrice yeah, actually it's odd. a different verdict from the chief mm -hmm. justice. What is wrong with that? I mean, have you ever heard of an innocent Fatui harbinger? Do you think the oratrice might have just convicted him on general principle? It didn't fucking say that Linny was guilty after we proved him innocent. But weren't the charges about the serial disappearances case? No matter what else he's guilty of, it shouldn't affect the verdict in this case, right? The judgment of the oratrice mechanique d'analyse cardinale is, by law, the final verdict of the court. Well, that makes no sense! By the sense way, why is this machine the final law? What did the machine see that makes him guilty? At least make the machine tell you why he's guilty! Fuck Fontaine, man! At least it's law system. I'm sorry. I'm fed up. I'm tired, man. It's now 6 19 a.m. I don't appreciate being thrown around like this. Guards, please take the suspect into custody per court protocol. What the fuck? But he's not guilty, at least in this case. No, Child's probably done some dumbass shit. He likes fighting. But this? Oh, is he gonna break out? He's gonna break out. Yeah, he's not accepting this. Child, you're gonna get yourself wanted in court. So this is how justice is done in Fontaine. I see, I what see. A joke. It is a joke. Not gonna lie, I agree with you. 
You've got your rules. Well, I've got my and now he's using delusion power. Oh no. The thing is, I'm low-key rooting for him, but this is just getting him in so much more trouble. I'm curious if she's seen this before. Oh, he's stepping in. Oh, that was an explosion. Oh, no. I am sorry. If you have been wronged, we will find the truth. But the rules of the court must be upheld. Oh, he actually got scratched. Oh, hey, damn. What's going on? Shouldn't they have been clear already? Apologies. This is also the first time I've encountered such a situation. However, according to the rules established at the conception of Fontaine's court system, the Oratrice's judgment is the final verdict of the court. Now, politely, is not a Fontanian. How does that make sense? Can the system also tell you what it found for grounds to be guilty? Because all of the stuff we have pointed to innocent, like, even we have the confirmed culprit. So what in the Oratrice is suggesting he's guilty? Like... How does that work? Can you explain it to us as we're just, you know, travelers from a different world even, so we don't quite understand how this works. But what's going down here? All I do is follow court procedure. As for why the Oratrice arrived at the conclusion it did, you should probably ask someone more knowledgeable than me. Oh, hey, Farina, can we have a talk with you? Like, right now? Why are you looking at me? I had nothing to do with it! Cool, but can you explain the machine? And if you can't, well, shit, we need to start changing laws if the new Archon does not understand why the fuck the machine's doing this. I, I don't know what happened there either. Hey, stop staring at me! We will stare at you until you give us fucking actual responses like, okay, I actually don't... Like, you, you said you don't know what happened either, but I need you to be open to explain why you don't know. What does Lady Farina mean by that? Oh yeah, no, true. You shouldn't be shouting that in front of everyone. You could have just told us to talk to you privately. She says she has no idea either, but that's impossible. Didn't she create the Oratrice herself? Isn't she? Um, I'm not. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, so are the verdicts reliable or not? Can results like this really be called justice? Oh, you're really calling for your, your system into question with that statement? <laughs> Dearest citizens, did you really think we'd allow an incorrect verdict to be handed out in this court? Nope. Did you really believe that the judgment could be mistaken or be the result of some sort of random mishap? Based off your reaction, yes, you motherfucker. Now, if you're really going to try to play this off as if it's real and we just missed some type of information in court, I'll have to have a real nice chat with you. Don't tell me. You thought even I had been blindsided by the Oratrice's result. You so did, you motherfucker. Now speak the fucking truth for once in your life. But the way she looked just now, it was pretty obvious she had no idea what was going on. Yeah, she doesn't want us to know that because she's a fucking idiot. However, given the state of things, I shall give you an explanation. Oh, Everything yeah, explain it off as a performance. Place. Including my supposed shock and bafflement was a part of an elaborate performance with every action meant to stir up drama and excitement. This whole trial's given me a headache, but I don't think it's helped by you, Farina. I I long since know you're here for your theatrics. Um, and you definitely don't want them thinking you don't know what you're doing. But enough's enough. And, <laughs> of course, 
before every performance, there is a script. Everything has unfolded exactly as I expected from the very beginning. As the embodiment of the very concept of justice, the oratrice shall never render an arbitrary judgment. Mm -hmm. If you thought Child had nothing to do with the serial disappearances case, it is only because you've been blinded by the superficial appearance of innocence. You know, Hoyo, good job. I've been mad. Um, it's on documentation over on my YouTube channel. I've been mad. A lot of the times. I, I shout a little too much sometimes, I will admit. I, I do that a lot. But my eyes are watering. And it's not even because I'm sad. I, I, I think I'm just that upset. <laughs> like, it, it's not like I'm upset child got arrested for no reason. No, it, it's more... I think my emotions have just been put so high up there that hearing this bullshit just actually is just upsetting. Genuinely hearing her put on this performance and basically making it look like all that shit just that went down was planned out in that, you know, if we thought he was innocent in any way, we're just dumb, we're blinded by X, Y, and Z, actually has just fucked me up. I'm sorry. Fontaine, <laughs> go there for um, emotional distress. <laughs> I'm calling it distress because my brain's trying to figure out why I'm feeling this way. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to figure it out. Everything he's done, not to mention the danger he poses, are beyond ordinary comprehension and completely unforgivable. Hey, Farina, can I lightly slap you on the cheek so you can go and say I'm of those things as well? Congrats, Fontaine. Currently, you are quite literally following a child. Like, you think Sumeru's following a child. No, 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 no. Nahida is way smarter, and she cares way more about her people than she does about image. So she, while she does have her childlike energy and wonder, and she really wants to do things, she wants to actually be there for her people. This Archon, she's there for her people, but in a different way. In a completely not right way. Farina, when I said you were speaking facts, I don't know how long ago, and I was being agreeable with you, and it got called out, I should have known it was a sign for further upset nature to occur. All shall be revealed in time. You will come to understand my noble intentions, as well as the absolute correctness of the Oratrice's verdict. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know. Remember when you were falsely accused Linny? I can't wait to do. Okay, you know, traveler, traveler, you may just want to focus on you know finding your sibling for once because usually you get sidetracked. I'm sorry, this is the bitch you have to try asking information from. So you know what's the best way to just make her fucking stop with her bullshit and maybe give you information? Well, now that she's sounded, said with so much confidence that the oratrice is correct, let's go fuck the system up realize, and make everyone realize it was actually false and that their Archon did not know what the fuck they were talking about. Yeah, bitch. You want us to go there? We'll go there. Now, having said that, although I hate to leave things hanging in suspense, it is now time for this performance to end. As the lead actress, I shall be the first to take my leave. Yeah, Do run, you coward. Fucking coward. So she chose to make her escape after all, did she? That she did. Thank you for calling it out. Uh, so you're saying we shouldn't put much stock into what No, you, you fucking shouldn't, Paimon. <laughs> hmm. She probably just put on that performance to save face. As for the truth, it's unlikely that she actually has any idea. 
Why, Paimon Traveler? Why were we even? Why, why were we even kind of buying what she was saying? However, please be assured that I will continue to investigate this case in a personal capacity. Just as I promised, if the judgment has been incorrect, we will do our utmost to clear his name. All right. Even though we feel pretty badly for him, we'll take your word for it for now. I'm glad we feel pretty badly for him. I'm sorry, I'm bringing it back to the other He's two now. He's done plenty of bad stuff. So he should have known he'd go to prison someday, right? Okay, Paimon, but there's the thing. If he was charged for accurate crimes he committed, that is one thing. But this is a case where he was legit arrested on bullshit. There is another if you're going to arrest him and he ends up in prison one day, it needs to be on something he actually did. That's being logical. Okay? Whether the verdict would have been he was in prison anyways, it's still not right to go and just throw him, him, throw him in on random bullshit that he didn't do and then just go, well, he did plenty of bad stuff, so he would have ended up there anyways. That, that's the dumbest shit. Don't say that. And I know she didn't mean it that way, I'm sorry. Oh, Monsieur Nervalet! That power you showed when you took him down. For Who calling you out, are buddy. You really? Hmm? I'm the Chief Justice of Fontaine, of course. If officers of the law lack the strength and capability to enforce it, then it makes a mockery of justice. He's clearly an otter, Paimon. <laughs> I needed that joke. She ran. She ran. I want to fight. Hey, you know what? The people you kind of shunned earlier on in Act 1, Lenny and Lynette, maybe we can team up. You know why? I think we need to get to the bottom of how the oratrice functions. Also, if it's raining, I swear to God it's because of him, and I think Fremenet's, like, parents' uh, little story is actually real. I, I want to put money on that. I'm lost. How do you get uh, you go through these doors? They didn't look like doors. <laughs> okay. I have Oh he's running! What are you doing? Quick stop him! He's running. Traveler! Hey! Traveler! What are you trying to tell us? Ah, Marcel! What are you doing over here? Stop resisting arrest! Cease, or we'll add another charge to the list. What's he trying to say? Do you mind let, like, I'm mad at him. But currently someone's a bigger idiot. Well, I'm, bigger is not the right word. Someone's giving me the bigger headache. L let me, let me no, hear him. No, wait. I just want to ask the traveler something. I'm not looking to run away. Please, please, just let me ask this one small thing. Go on. Thank you. Thank you. I was being led away when I finally realized something. Where did you first hear the name Vache? Mm-hmm. It's nice that you noticed, because there should be no way for that name to be known. I erased all records of that name. So, unless... Are you still trying to prove your innocence? Give it up. You've already been convicted. Uh, really? You, you did? You were sure? You met her? But how could that be? How did you manage to do it? The Fountain of Lucene? Then... Please, please give me a chance to talk to her again. Just let the traveler... What? Give an inch and you want to take a mile. Hmm. Paimon agrees. Why I'm sorry, I'm skipping. When he's only done a ton of super terrible things? Why don't we tell him the final message, at least? This request, is it worth as much to you as your life? Ooh, yeah, good question. Of course! Wait, no. It's worth even more than my life. Humans. Will they betray the instinct to live just to satisfy spiritual needs? Yeah, they will. Thank you for proving your non-humanity. <laughs> I'm not saying that to insult him. I'm just, I'm just saying it because of speculations and theories. Very well. I will grant your request. Your Honor, I fear that... I will go with him. You do not need to worry about any escape. In that case, I shall leave him in your most capable hands, Chief Justice. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Yeah, no, humans do some crazy shit, uh, 
in the right circumstance. I'm not gonna lie. You said she's here, but what do I need to do to see her? Yeah, and even Paimon could hear her after drinking that thing. Didn't you just drink a lot of it on the stage as well? Oh, in that case... Vashe! Ah! Yes, that's it! So you heard it too! Vinier, it's me! It's me, Vashe! Vashe? Vache. I'm here! I'm here! Where are you, Vinier? I'm coming for you! I'm finally- Hey, wait! Be careful! Hey, wait! Yeah, that happens. Vinier, is that you? It's me, Vache! Vinier! Vache? Why did you come? Didn't I say? You don't need to look for me. You... You look a lot older than I remember. How long has it been? It's been more than 20 years. Mm -hmm. I've suffered for over 20 years since the day you left. All this time, only the thought of bringing you back has kept me alive. Like I said, she's not going to be happy about that. Oh, I must be dreaming. Who would have thought I'd get the chance to tell you all of my feelings like this? Vinier, you are my everything. I really don't know how I could live without you. But Vache, if you ask me, this world would be better off without you. Oh shit, okay, um... What are you saying? If not for you, I would have finished my law degree and probably become a top-tier attorney one day. Okay, where is this coming from? Holy shit. If not for you, I would have continued to pursue my love of the arts, and my works would have been displayed in the Palais Marie. Wait, is this the innocent people he sacrificed? If not for you, I would at least have been able to take care of my mother. Mm -hmm. it's, it's his victims. It's his victims talking. Alone, with nothing but the tears on her cheeks. It's all because of your selfishness, Vache. It's all because of you. You? Wait, you are not Vinier. Who are you? Oh, it totally was. But the thing is, you also sat there and took out many, many people. You're right. I am not Vinier. I am the sacrifices. I am the sacrifices. Every woman who died by your hand has our bodies dissolved. Our consciousness is flowed back to the primordial sea. Our thoughts circulated endlessly within the primordial sea. And we were no longer individuals. So part of that is who you were looking for, but... Just as streams of water come together in the sea. I'm Cressy. I'm Lemony. I'm Azine. Hmm. The only one I am not is Vignere. Why? But then, where is Vinier? She doesn't want to see you anymore. Mm -hmm. Every tendril of her consciousness is... She abundant. was there, but she decided no. This is what you get for your selfishness. Your selfishness robbed us of our lives and our futures. You said time and time again that you'd do any and everything for her. But did you ever consider whether she'd want to see you do the, the things... The things you did? Yeah. If she would despise you for what you became. I, um, I... Yeah, you didn't think that far. You are a liar, a heartless murderer, and a cowardly narcissist. The only thing you are not is Vinier's beloved. From the moment your first victim died and her consciousness merged with Vinier's, she has had nothing but pure hatred for you. And her calling out for us was telling genuinely like, hey, fucking stop that bitch. 
Like, just stop him. Stop him. Because, you know, she may actually fucking hate you for this, and, you know, <laughs> rightfully so. But she also sees who you were before that. So, you know, while she sees that, and it's like, why? She's also like, look at all these people you fucking took out. That is true. They, but you could have also genuinely... There's no. many things that could have been. Yeah. She can't hate me. Let me she see can't me. hate you. Please. Have mercy. She can, in fact, hate you. I uh, would love to be the one to break it to you. She does possibly actually hate you. You still don't understand. When I said don't look for me, that came from the mm -hmm. Vignette. She really doesn't want to see you anymore. But on top of that, she also said that because it's her final drop of pity for mm -hmm. you. Yeah. She said that because she knew that if you did come here, we will show no mercy to you. Yes, yeah, see, she does still care, but she also genuinely hates what you've done. Bye. Can you wake up? Please tell me you can wake up. Lost his soul? Holy fuck. And it's raining. Cue the rain. Finally, we have some time to do shopping. Gosh, it's really been a long time since we've been able to relax. It is so jarring to see just the attitudes, like the added, like the tone shift like this when it comes back to us. Because I'm still caught up. I'm still, it's been a few days for them, I get it. But for me, it's been like two seconds. They took his soul. Like, I'm not saying he didn't deserve it, but what the fuck? Huh. Well met, partner. Hey, Navia. I knew something great was going to happen when I woke up in such a good mood today. <laughs> good to know that you're in a good mood. That's nice. That's genuinely nice. Even this weather can't put a damper on the demoiselle's mood. Yeah, how long has it been raining? It's a pleasure to see you both again. Now that I believe, I'm easy to work with and always bring home the bacon. <laughs> Who wouldn't treasure having a partner like me? <laughs> Sounds like you're really enjoying life these days, Navia. What have you been busy with since the trial? Uh, it's just been one thing after the other. I've been making non-stop trips between Poisson and the court since then. Yeah. Everyone from Spina di Rosula organized a memorial for my father. We never held a memorial when he first died, since everyone knew that even if we held one back then, no one was going to come. But now that things have been lifted, you know, people can actually come without that, um, rude fucking title placed upon his head. This time, though, everyone in Poisson, and even many people from the court, all attended. <sighs> so That's good. definitely been cleared now. That's what we like to hear. It's been the dearest wish of Demoiselle all along. <laughs> that blasted the tiny log is, dog is barking. Is right to put my faith in him. I don't know uh, why. By the way, I ran into Charlotte just after I left the memorial service. Uh, well, maybe it'd be more accurate to say I knew she would be there, and there was no way she'd just let me go. Huh? So you know Charlotte too? The Charlotte? Journalist from the Steamboat? Yeah, her. Yeah, way back when I first became the president of the Spina di Rosula, she was all over me. Wouldn't take no for an answer. I believe the story was called The True Heart of Darkness, Secret Tales of the Yellow Rose. To be fair, though, it was a really flattering feature. <laughs> so we've been on pretty good terms ever since. She was trying to lean on our friendship to get me to do an exclusive piece on the serial disappearances case. Oh yeah, 
She told us about that. She's always been super interested in that case, so now her wish has finally come true, too. Anyway, I told her to make sure that when she writes about you guys entering the opera house with the critical evidence, that you both sound really cool. <laughs> now that's another thing to look forward to. We trust Charlotte's skills with a pen for sure. Oh, and in other news, I also took Clarand out for a meal. Wow, look at that. Oh, are you two on better terms now? Mm. While you were investigating Vache's headquarters, Clorand gave testimony on my father's behalf. It was thanks to her that we were able to turn the tide. I wanted to thank her. I mean, <laughs> there's also no point in being awkward all the time. So we took the chance to reconcile with each other. I don't want to take a pa Like, I don't want to pause, but I'm also... Um... Oh, that's my brain, great. like I said... <laughs> Yeah, I never thought she was bad. It's always good to have more friends. My my brain's kind of overflowing with emotions, and I get pretty paranoid when that happens. So I heard the dog, who doesn't normally bark, bark. So anyway, I don't know. Now that the case is finally uh, resolved, perhaps it will slowly begin to fade from the public consciousness. Maybe. Oh, actually. There's still one last thing I need to do. What is it? I should pay a visit to my father's grave and tell him the truth of what happened, as well as how it all ended. Hmm, I see. And on top of that, just how much people still look up to him to this day. That includes me, too. Miss Navia. Indeed. Person. Sure thing. I'd like you two to share the moment with me. After all, without you, there might not have been such a positive ending. Thank you. And in that case, everyone, let's be off. Considering the recent weather, we'll be lucky if we can reach Poisson before dark. Yeah, you're right. It's been raining non-stop for a few days now. It, it's non-stop. Non-stop, okay? Mm-hmm. Sorry. I, that's the information I wanted to know. This is where my father's grave is. Oh, I literally just found this. This is the grave site, right? Even I haven't been back here for a long time. Huh? There's someone there already. Wait. That figure. It can't be. Hmm? Isn't that Durbelette? Mm -hmm. Why would the Chief Justice be here? Huh? Nadia? My apologies. I should have asked before coming to pay my respects. Don't say that. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, I was trying to say there's no mm -hmm. need for you to yeah. apologize. I'm about to cry. Oh dear. I wanted to show my father how much I've grown. But still, I doubt I've grown to the point that even the Chief Justice would feel compelled to apologize to me over and over. In that case, I will stop apologizing for now. <laughs> hmm. You really could use some pointers on understanding human emotions, Monsieur Nervillette. He probably does. In any case, why did you come to Poisson? Well, ever since that day, I've been turning a question over and over in my head. Just what is justice, anyway? There was once a time when I didn't want to believe that there could be anything more important to humans than life itself. Oh, rather than that, it's probably more truthful to say I didn't believe humans were capable of resisting the most basic instinct of living things. That they could rebel against their own nature consider certain things to be more important than their own lives which is also why I didn't stop your father from beginning that fateful duel I believe that a truly innocent man would never throw away his life like that that there was nothing should have been nothing more important mm -hmm. than one's own continued survival but Mr. Callis proved me utterly and decisively wrong if not for his sacrifice 
the serial disappearances case would have remained unsolved to this day. Mr. Callis made the choice he did for his daughter, for his associates, and for many people completely unrelated to him. Ooh. And in the end, from a certain perspective, one could say that he did it all for the sake of justice. A justice that's higher than life itself. So, you asked me why I came here. I just wanted to say my apologies to Mr. Callis in person. I should have noticed all of this much sooner. This regret has filled me with a sadness that has haunted me for days. Mm -hmm. That high and mighty chair in the opera Epicles indeed insulates one from many important things. Spina di Rosula, thank you so much for your hard work and perseverance. Uh, I'm sorry for being mad at you before. So, you're actually one of those types that's cold <laughs> on the outside. Yeah. Pretty thoughtful on the inside, huh? That reminds me of Silver, one of my guys. Sorry about that. Self-expression is not one of my strong suits. <sighs> Didn't I just say you don't need to apologize? <laughs> it's it's instinct. Ah, so Navia and Nervalet seem to have made their peace as well. Let's not disturb them for now. We can wait till after they're done. Mm -hmm. It stopped raining. <sighs> Paimon's never paid respects at someone's grave before. Uh... Did Paimon do anything rude there? You're not supposed to be flying around, Paimon. How dare you? Huh? Oh, Paimon didn't know that was a thing? Why, why? Paimon doesn't know what she would do if she can't fly! Can you no longer physically walk, Paimon? I don't know. I don't think Paimon... Uh, has Traveler ever seen Paimon not fly? Oh, no. Paimon hopes Miss Navia won't be too mad. Okay, that, that was unnecessary, Traveler. Anyway. We can catch him alone like this, so why don't we go talk to him for a bit? If we can't talk to Lady Farina, we can at least talk to him, right? We can. Oh, it's you two. Did Miss Navia invite you to come pay your respects to her father? That's not quite what happened, Paimon, but thank you for that phrasing. I see, I see. Then is there something that I can help you with? Uh, um, well, it's pretty hard to run into you like this since you're usually super busy. So we figured we could try to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. Please feel free. Though outsiders, you helped us solve one of the greatest mysteries in Fontaine. And it would be my pleasure to return the favor. So, at court, the bad guys referred to that special water as water from the primordial sea. But, what is it really? Truthfully, that name is already quite accurate. I can only surmise that Vache and his ilk only learned of its nature and existence after extensive research. There used to be a special sea on the surface of this planet. The nature of its seawater was rather different from that of the sea we know today. Mm -hmm. Most of Tavat's life forms were first born in that special sea. You could say it nurtured much of the life on this planet. Huh. So it really was where everything began. It makes sense to call it primordial then. But today, the primordial sea no longer exists on the planet's surface. What Vashe discovered must have been some kind of special case, or a remnant from a truly ancient age. Huh. So that's how it is. Oh, you really know everything, Monsieur Nervalette. But if that's the case, then why would people, uh, at least people from Fontaine, dissolve in that kind of water? Indeed. Why would the Primordial Sea 
which was known to engender and nurture life, suddenly reverse itself and devour life instead. To be frank, that also doesn't match my understanding of this world and its laws. There must still be some unknown secrets around the people of this land. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it only specifically targets people from Fontaine, too, is something to call into question. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? That the sea levels will rise and everyone will be dissolved in water, leaving Farina crying alone on her throne, but the sins of the people will be finally washed away for good. Does that appropriately summarize the version you've heard? That's right! Yeah. It was Linny that told us back then! And that about covers all the main points! Yes, up to the present, I think we reached a point where we have no choice but to confront this prophecy directly. Rumors have it that this prophecy is rooted in the last words the former Hydro Archon left there to we the go. world mm -hmm. before she passed away. A prophecy? Of the former Hydro Archon? Wow. This is the first time that we've ever heard of it. Two parts of the prophecy have already proven correct. The rising sea levels and the ability of the people of Fontaine to be dissolved. Mm -hmm. We should be more vigilant and stay on the watch for further signs. Speaking of the prophecy, Farina has also always taken it quite seriously. Indeed, she has been collecting information and intelligence from across Tevat for this purpose. So she has been taking... Yeah, I, I, okay, when, I don't mean to say this in a rude way. It's just genuinely whenever we see her, we generally see her on a not always positive light. So that's where this is coming from. But no, she's genuinely taking that seriously. It's just the way she, like, goes about being around Fontaine itself is a little different. But she does, when it really matters, she she does want to get if stuff done. If the rumors done. were true, then perhaps this prophecy is the conundrum left to Farina by her predecessor. But with Farina being the way she is, can we really trust her to solve it? Well, nothing says we can't give her some helping hands. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? Is this the end of the quest? Just... Just the way we're My ending apologies. this. My investigation has still not reached its conclusion. Let me know when you find out, or we might have to jailbreak that ourselves. However, I still believe the judgment of the Oratrice was not rendered arbitrarily. <sighs> but you also said you thought he was innocent. There could be some other stuff behind it, yeah, but... For many years, I have been quite aware that the Oratrice does not simply mechanically repeat the verdict that I give on each case. Yeah, but then what makes it say guilty? Uh, like, at least on that charge. As a divinely created mechanism, the people's unified faith in the concept of justice is integrated into it. <laughs> the, the fact that he said that statement, I was like, but do you not see the people who watch these trials? I would not trust that system then. But no, no, there's genuinely probably been people who genuinely, you know, feel certain ways. It's just... Seeing the how the two trials like audience reacted during all of that, hearing that statement made me think that their unified faith in of in the concept of justice was Not brought only in. Can it's it like yeah. the incredible power of indemnitium, but it likely also possesses other traits, such as self awareness. What did it see? We need to know what it saw to make him guilty. Which is all to say, I've been prepared for a situation like this for a long time. So when Linny told us that he heard a human voice from the room where the Oratrice's core is stored... I was not aware such a thing had occurred. Perhaps that could serve to prove <laughs> my conjecture. I will add that to the list of items to investigate. Yeah, no, I guess since you're investigating it, I'm glad Paimon gave that information up. In any case, I am inclined to believe that the Oratrice does have a methodology all its own. We just do not have enough information. Based on Farina's reaction, I doubt even she had any idea what was going on. Mm -hmm. She managed to bluff her way through it, though. The time-tested twin tricks of bravado and drama. The magic it concludes. While we do intend to get to the bottom of this, for now, we regret to say that the Fatui Harbinger will just have to bide his time in the Fortress of Meripede. Yeah, he's not gonna have fun with that. I'm so sorry for anyone who's on shift. If we did incorrectly convict him of crimes he did not commit, we will most certainly compensate him to the fullest extent allowed by the law. If you ask Paimon, the only compensation...
in Hellwatch is a no holds barred fight with you. Yeah, that's true. Now that, like, if he finds out that the one who knocked him out was you, that is what he'll ask for. Is there anything else you... <laughs> if we don't get a response to that line. Anyways, about my sibling. Your sibling? Another blonde-haired traveler? I'm sorry, but I've never seen anyone who matches that description. If she ever stepped foot in Fontaine, I'm sure she followed our laws to the letter, and had no reason to appear on the stage of the opera Epicles. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about? No more questions. Very well. It was my honor to provide you with what answers I could. I very much enjoyed conversing with you. It will soon be time for me to leave this blissful tranquility behind and return to Palais Memonia. Mm. It must suck having that life, though, to be the one who's constantly stuck, like, you know, in most cases, always convicting people you like that. Really like, the job does not sound fun. It, it does not sound stress-free. Paimon, I don't think this man ever gets a day off in his life. Crime and villainy do not have yeah. a day off. Mm -hmm. And so justice must work around the clock as well. This is merely the nature of a justice's work. Yeah. Not like it can be fulfilling, but it can also be very tiring. Alright, alright. You've got a point. Huh? Paimon just noticed that the rain has stopped. Hmm, I wonder why. How dare you end on such a pretty screen? But also, just how dare you? That's... It's over... Yeah, those are all world quests. Let's, let's go and give this, like... I haven't used this Traveler. To be fair, I genuinely only really use Animo Traveler. If I'm being honest, so... There's not much I do. Thank you. Now, truthfully, guys, it's been a long three and a half hours. Um, and I kind of want to do things uh, off stream now. Uh, I was genuinely going to kind of just do the little mini games because they're fun and it's it's not that uh like tiring or anything like that only was a bit of a emotional uh emotionally taxing event where the twist and turns like don't get me wrong they're amazing but there's only so much i personally at one point can handle and i should should have took that into consideration uh time to go and just the things that Vache did, like you all, we all can be like put like put it like yes, you know he lost his the love of his life, but it, it all comes down to it too. Let's say after who knows how many victims he had brought her back. Clearly, we learned from how he ultimately <laughs> got taken out. She did not appreciate that. She did not like the monster he was becoming, just willing to throw people people's lives away, hurt other people just for for that. He may put her life above all others, but she does not. And uh, you know, he just couldn't understand that. He was not having that. Um, and you can, we can all see why. Uh, anything to do with child, that's going to be up to the next Archon Act, you know, when we get our hands on it. Uh, to truly see where that goes, how the Oratrice functions, and what made it declare guilty. And just all the further developments. Um, I would love to sit here and uh, do Linny's story.
story quest. Um, I I truly would, but I'm a bit tired. Uh, here I'll unlock it. Let's let's capture some dialogue here, if there's any. Yeah. Didn't think so, but with that being said, um, I I think I'm going to draw this um, a close, uh, and we'll pick up the pieces. I I would love to really try to go over it more, but my brain cannot really concentrate, <laughs> you know. Like, the voice acting, just, like, their directions, and even the investigation, just how we got to be at the court, like, while, you know, P uh, Paimon and the Traveler were infiltrating, just to cut back to this moment we finally come in and then bring the damning evidence. All of that was amazing and spectacular, and the cutscenes during this act were just phenomenal, just like Act 1. There's nothing I could say bad about it. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see if I can set something up over here but in the meantime i genuinely am going to call it a day uh, i may be streaming again later today i don't know I, I may not i may we'll just have to see but until then that guys genuinely um Wherever i hope you have a great day uh I carry memories of thank you heart. for stopping by and uh this yeah. blade it is i will call it I have to the land of my a night so bye bye